Hello, students. Let's continue with our immunology topic. Uh, if you remember, uh, we complete we have completed till antibody. I mean, we have completed immune system in last class, the immunology first part, immune system structure, innate and acquired immunity, antigen and antibody was complete. Now we are going to uh, complete other topics. That means today we're going to finish all the topics. So see, this second part immunology, which we're going to discuss today, has very important things. First is this antigen antibody reaction itself is important because you're going to uh, talk. You're going to talk about all the immunological reactions, types of immunological reactions. That means serological tests, different types of serological tests, important in microbiology, and then complement test system, cytokines and acute phase reactants, and the active and passive immunity, hypersensitivity reaction. You know, very important. Always questions asked from this topic. Transplant also very important, and then your graft versus host reaction. These are the topics you're going to discuss. So let's continue. So now when you talk about the antigen antibody interaction and then Marac lattice hypothesis, these are two important things. So for, before going to this, first we'll know about antigen antibody interaction. When you talk about antigen antibody interactions, so antigen is coming from outside entering into a body um, and entering into a body and our body produces antibody against this antigen, right? So now whatever, when antigen antibody is interacting, two important definition you should know and question is asked from this also. What is an affinity and what is an avidity? Affinity and avidity, okay? Affinity and avidity. So when you talk about affinity, that is, you know that, uh, you know that when you when we talk about affinity and avidity, uh, we are talking about the interactions. Okay, the bond formed. So first one for this, uh, for your affinity, it is basically the non-covalent interaction. So you should remember that in whole immunology there is no covalent bond formed anywhere. Even if for immunoglobulin also, I told you non-covalent between a heavy chain and light chain, whatever you know, those uh, bonds formed are also non-covalent. Here also you are talking about the non-covalent interaction between interaction between single between the single epitope of antigen you know the epitope always belongs to antigen we have repeated it and that's important question also between a single epitope and the non covalent interaction between single epitope and single paratope paratope belongs to the antibody if you remember a b so b antibody no, bp shortcut is bp if you forgot also antibody has paratope and antigen has the epitope okay so that single interaction between single covalent interaction between single the non covalent interaction between single epitope paratope is called affinity we talk about avidity this is the overall strength of the antigen antibody interest, the overall strength first of all avi means strength okay the word avi agato you remember strength strength so what do you mean by strength here it is again same this uh, non-covalent interaction, same this non-covalent interaction between between all between all the epitope and paratope, between all the epi and paratope, not a single one. The entire interaction we're talking, the whole antigen antibody, the complete, you know, the complete antigen and antibody, that interaction, non-covalent interaction is called ability. That's what we talk about. Ability, we are talking about the overall strength of the interaction. Okay. This was a question, and this also a question. You can have ability. Okay. Right. So this is the antigen antibody interaction ka important definition. Now, what about this matrix lattice hypothesis? It's very important. Always question is asked. The matrix lattice. This is the matrix lattice hypothesis. Okay. That is Marac lattice hypothesis. Okay. Marac's lattice hypothesis. So what here we talking here is that we're talking about three important zones. Okay. What are the three important zones here? If you remember, uh, we have three zones. Zone of Antibody excess, equivalence, and antigen excess. So we call it as the prozone, prozone phenomena, and the zone of equivalence, equivalence, and then we have the post zone. Okay, prozone and the post zone. Okay. So what happened whenever you're doing an antigen antibody test? Okay, what happened or whatever happens in a body, you have this possibility. What is the possibility? You can have mostly what happened when antigen is equal to antibody that is called zone of equivalence so this is good we can either it's agglutination test or precipitation test. we get an accurate test okay we get an accurate test but if the prozone what happens sometimes in a body antibody will be very high antibody will be very high that is if you see here in first test see all these antibodies are very high antibodies are very high and there are only few antigens okay prozone and in prozone what happens sometimes there's a possibility that Antigen in the test, antigen could be more, antigen is more, okay, but 
antibody is less. Okay, so that's it. That's that's the definition. That's what what happened in many tests we are doing dilution, especially we seen Vidal, uh, Will Felix. Many tests what we are doing we are doing a dilution. Okay, we are doing even in VDRL, RPR, and all we are doing the dilution. That's what we give the teeter value. One is to you know forty or eighty. One is to uh, you know one sixty. One one is to one. That is because of that only. Okay, to uh, we are diluting it so that to get accurate result because you might miss because if antibody is small and then you don't have much antigen in your test or whatever, then what happened? Of course, it will give the false false negative right or false positive or false negative depends on what we are detecting so the here only important thing here is pro means body always remember every actors have pro like body celebrities have pro like sexy body right body so pro body remember again pro body so this is a question frequently asked either post they last ask or uh, they last the pro zone or post zone that's it okay that's it so the equivalence means both are equal that this is called the marach lattice hypothesis for antigen antibody interaction now, next one. Now, the types of antigen antibody interaction. So, here, if you see, you talk about uh, we have two uh, antigen antibody reactions. We have two. What are they? We have older methods and then the older conventional method and the newer methods. Okay. So, what are the methods? So, in old method, we are talking about when you talk about the uh, old method, we are talking about uh, important test that is your precipitation, precipitation, agglutination, precipitation agglutination test, precipitation, agglutination test, and then your uh, uh, complement fixation, complement fixation test, and then your neutralization test, neutralization test. Many of the tests are obsolete, but still, you know, especially precipitation agglutination, we are using very commonly, still we are using many tests based on that only. A new method is simply ELISA, or we call immunofluorescent assay II, okay, whenever this II comes, okay, immunofluorescent assay or radio immuno assay, okay, radio immuno assay or chemi chemicals, okay, chemi immunofluorescent assay, CIA, and of course your Western blot. Different type of blots, not just Western blot, different types of blots. We're going to talk about it. And even the rapid test. We have a lot of rapid tests also. These things will be coming in your newer methods. Okay. So these things. Now we'll talk individual tests. That is important. Precipitation test. You always have a question. Example will be asked on the precipitation test. Okay. So how to remember? We are going to write it now here. So precipitation test. First of all, the definition is very, very important. In the precipitation, the shortcut is SP. Remember SP. What is SP? When a soluble SP, okay. S means soluble P for precipitation. Okay, P for precipitation. Sol when the soluble antigen plus antibody combines in the presence of the proper pH, temperature, and NaCl, you there is what there will be precipitate. Precipitate is formed. Precipitate sometimes you know flocules also right hands. Flocule is the same. Flocule is a type of precipitate only. Under precipitation, you have flocculation. So flocule comes under precipitate. So you will get precipitate like this. Okay, you get like this. See this dot 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 dot. No, these are the precipitates. Okay, so this is important. Why soluble antigen? Because in agglutination, what happens? So this is the first one in the uh, older method. Okay, we are talking about the precipitation first one. So uh, remember, because in agglutination we are using insoluble. Okay, here we are using soluble antigen. They are insoluble antigen. Okay, that's the answer. Okay, so soluble antigen with the antibody, you get a flocule. So now precipitation can be either it can happen in a liquid media. Or you can do it in a gel media. So first in the liquid media, let's talk about a liquid media. Okay, we are using a liquid. Then the test where we are using liquid media. So there it can be it can be three types. What are the in liquid media? If you're going to use first one is your slide. Slide. Whenever in liquid media, you know what you get? You get a flocules or flock. That's what you call this flocculation. Okay. So you don't confuse flocules or precipitate all the same. So slide flocculation. Slide flocculation, sometimes if they give side slide precipitation is also not wrong. Okay, that is also fine. Okay, precipitation is also slide precipitation, flocculation, both are same, same. Okay, don't confuse. Okay, then other one is your tube, tube flocculation, tube flocculation or precipitation again. Okay, I'm not confusing it here. And then ring precipitation. Ring flocculation or ring precipitation. Again, so okay, both the terms are right. So don't have to worry. Flocule, precipitate, all are same. Okay. Yeah. Now let's go here. Now, what are the things important here? So when a slide flocculation means, see, this is the slide. These two are the slide. Okay. This one and this one are the slide. The first one is VDRL and second one is RPR. RPR. Okay. R 
P R. Okay, rapid plasma rate. So these two, you can see the flocules are strong. This when flocules are formed, they are positive. So slight flocculation test is used. Uh, example is the VDRL and RPR. Many times you have this is this was asked in your uh, in NEET PG also and in FMG also repeated many many times. So both VDRL and RPA. That's what I gave the picture. Here you have to just remember they are slight slight. Okay, but they are diagnosing the syphilis. For diagnosing the syphilis. Individual test, I mean, both are used for screening of the syphilis only. They are not confirmatory tests, just a screening test only. And it's very sensitive test, screening test. And for, pro, for, for detecting the prognosis, okay, to detect the treatment is working or not, we are using VDRL or RPR, okay. Only thing in VDRL, we use microscope. In RPR, we don't use microscope. All these things are explained in my syphilis in micro, in uh, bacteriology. You can check that and in revision also, we'll have it again. In tube, tube, very easy. You know what? If you want to see any con movies, okay, either uh, um, con means, Either it could be Salman, Salman or, you know, Shah Rukh Khan, any Khan movies you see very good in where? In the YouTube. You see very good in the YouTube. Okay, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Okay, so Khan's test. Okay, so it's K-A-H-N. Okay, here I'm writing Khan, but the test name is Khan's test. So Khan test is also used in syphilis. Absolutely, we are not using it anymore. But please remember, all the Khan's have syphilis. Khan's have syphilis and Khan's, Khan's movie, Kaha de Kogi, YouTube me de Kogi. You'll see it in YouTube. So tube, very, very simple. Okay, ring, ring precipitation test means we have two important tests you should know. One is for streptococcus. Streptococcus, if you remember a classification called Lancipil. Lancifield classification based on what LC is there, C for carbohydrate. This is a question asked. Based on the carbohydrate you're classifying, that is also like this only. That is a ring. You will see a ring in the tube. Okay. You see, you know, when we talk tube flocculation, in tube, you will see the flocule. Here, slide. Slide me. This is the picture. Huh? In the slide, you're seeing the flocule for slide flocculation. Tube me, tube flocule. Here, you'll see a ring in the ring uh, in the ring flocculation. One is Lancifield classification is one example question. And other one is, if you remember in the Bacillus anthraxis, I told you his uh, Andreas. Andreas boyfriend is a cool maddy, cool maddy, cool ascoli, cooly, ascoli thermo precipitation. Ascoli thermo precipitation. This is the way you remember. You never ever forget. Okay. Ascoli thermo precipitation is also a ring precipitation test. Okay. Where you see in bacillus anthraxis. Okay. Right. So that's it. These are the examples of precipitation. Now, same thing we told precipitation test in the what about the precipitation test we are seeing in the uh, gel media? We are going to talk about the gel media, liquid media. Okay. In a gel media, when you do it in a gel media, you will get what some bands. The bands are formed and accordingly you can, uh, you know, uh, classify what is it. Okay. So now here in gel media, how you classify it is that. See, either you can have the based on the diffusion and dimension, based on the diffusion and dimension. Okay. Two things are important here, diffusion and dimension. When you talk about diffusion, Division means what? It is. Uh, it can be single or it can be double. Single or double. Single means uh, when you talk about single or double diffusion. Double. Okay. Single means only antigen is diffusing. Double means both antigen and antibodies diffusing. That's it. Okay. Dimension. It can be just one or it can be two. That's it. One dimension means it's usually in the tube. Means just only one dimension. If it is in the slide, like when you put an agar gel or something, then that will be two, two side, okay, two dimension. But here, most important thing is the technique and now, which is confusing and people always worried about it. It's very easy. If you remember my shortcut, you'll not forget, okay? So you make a chart first, write a diffusion here, and then dimension here, diffusion, dimension. Go in order. F comes before M, right? Alphabetical order. So first write diffusion, then write dimension, okay? And then the procedure's name. Procedure name, okay. Procedure name like this, okay. Write it, and then now what you're going to do is that let's make like this first one a diffusion can be single or it can be double, single, double, single, single, double, single, double, single, double, okay. Two, three, four. Dimension is just one dimension or two dimensions. See, when you say single, it's one, one, no. So I'm just writing in a bracket, okay. One, 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 okay. So it'd be easier. Dimension one, two. Okay, sorry, it should be one, one. I'm going to dimension. Let's make like this one, one, two, two. Okay, right like this. Now, what happens? It's very easy. How to remember, sir? Very, very easy. Listen to me. Now you'll understand why I wrote this. Okay. Now, see, one, one, how to remember? You remember always there is only one and one, one and one best uh, uh, animation or, you know, the series of stories allowed in. Everyone knows Alauddin's story, Alauddin with his that special lamp, you know, that uh, the thing comes, you know, so the magic one, okay? So those things, okay, that uh, thing that is Alauddin you call. So one one means the name Alauddin, Alauddin become Auddin. You call this Auddin procedure. You got it? That's one. It's the first question. 
So this is called Audin procedure. The notification is single one one. You call it as Audin procedure. Okay, done. One. What about two? In two, one second. I'll make it like this so that it will look nice. Yeah, double, double, double. Man, what happened? I would say uh, I'm. You know, I'm always double okay. I would say double okay if I get if I get one full bottle vodka. If I get one full bottle alcohol vodka, whatever. My favorite is vodka. So whatever you guys like, okay, full, okay. You got it. I would say double okay if I get one full bottle of vodka, wine, whatever. Just for shortcut, okay, guys. Okay, just for shortcut. So what I have to remember? So I would say double okay if I get one full bottle. Double okay, O K A L E Y. Okle, okle, full trope, full bottle, full trope, full trope procedure. Okle, full trope procedure. That's bus. Okay, you got one more question, right? Repeated, repeated. You can see your previous question. This is asked many times, uh, especially in need PG. Of course, FMG also. You can expect this question. It's a uh, easily asked question. Okay. Now single, single, single is one, two. So what? Whenever when a game is there, what you say? One, two, three, ready. You know that's what we say. One, two, three, ready. Run. Okay. So one, two, agya. One agya, two agya. Three ka zarurat nahi hai. So ready ka kya bologi? Radial diffusion. Radial immunodiffusion. Radial immunodiffusion. Immunodiffusion. I'm not going to take the procedure question now. All you have to know is just you have to keep this in your mind thoroughly. So I'm giving this shortcut. Even if I uh, tell also, you know, exam this is the important thing they're going to ask. Okay. Now, double, double. Double, double. You know, let's say when you have a two boyfriend or when you, you know, get a two girlfriend, you know, what a lonely boy, uh, what a lonely boy would say. A lonely boy or a girl would say, ouch you know he would say ouch i got two girlfriends or two boyfriends okay that's what a lonely boy will say a lonely lonely boy would say ouch why ouch and lonely this ka naam hai ouchter ouchter loni ouchter loni procedure okay outer lonely procedure that's it got it so audin Okle full trope, radial motivation, outer lonely. See, I don't even have to remember these names. I go with shortcut one and one allowed in two but two times the two double double okay when I get one full bottle of vodka and one to three ready and two two when I have two boyfriend or two girlfriend, what I will get, I would say ouch. You know, a lonely guy would say ouch. Okay. So this is the thing point. Okay, you got it. So very, very simple. So please don't forget in gel media. So this is gel media. It, again, it comes under what precipitation. We are talking, we are still we are in precipitation only. This is also precipitation uh, type. If it is gel media, you get this one. Very simple. Okay. I'm sure you guys will not forget this. Okay. Go to the next one. Agglutination test. Now, the second test is the agglutination test. You know that agglutination also very, very important. Uh, a lot of a lot of uh, questions are being asked from agglutination also. Second part, agglutination. So agglutination, what's the definition? Again, here the shortcut is AIM. AIM. Okay. A for agglutination. I for when you mix an insoluble antigen, insoluble antigen with an antibody in the presence of same thing, pH, proper temperature, proper NaCl, what you get, you get a, what? Agglutinates. Agglutinates, how it looks, it looks like a clump. Agglutinates usually looks like a clump. You can see here. You can see here all the clumps here. Okay, clumps. Okay, this is agglutination of clumps, you can say. Under agglutination, mostly we are talking about tube agglutination only. Though we have slide agglutination also. Slide agglutination not that important. Few tests we are doing. But tube agglutination is very, very important. So what are the tests that comes in the tube agglutination? This is the question frequently asked. Okay, so now here, yeah, M. What does the M stands for? AIM, M stands for actually IgM. Whenever you're talking about agglutination, even G also has a role. But we are usually talking about M. M okay, IgM. Okay, so now... Agglutination test, what are the examples of this agglutination test? Now I'm going to write here. What are the tests? You know already. First one is your, the most favorite is Vidal test. Vidal test. So W means then a Will Felix also. I'm going to write Will Felix. Will Felix test. Vidal test. Will Felix test. And of course your Paul Bunal. Paul Bunal, you know, Paul Bunal. And the cat. Cat is coagulation test. If you remember, these three tests will also come in what? Heterophile also. So, okay, so they can give you a question. Which of the following tests is having heterophile antibody 
or heterophile test and also tube agglutination is these three okay but we are we're talking to tube everything is like this okay we are making the tube and you're getting the clumps like this so cat is there mat is there cat is for mycoplasma you know paul bundle is for ebb again i'm revising once again wheel flex is for your rickettsia and cat is for mycoplasma mat is for mat is leptospira again i give a shortcut there mat is coming from america to help all the lepto people lepto is where lepto is leptospirosis people okay leptospirosis mat and then we have also sat sat is what your brusella brusli ke pas kya hota hai satellite hota hai wo rich actor so unke pas kya hota hai satellite hota hai so i'm not okay if you want i'll write it here shortly leptospira not leprosy okay leptospira alag hai don't con many people confuse leprosy it's a leptospira mat is what mat is for your no, ma, sorry mat is I, i have just been mistake mat is leptospira cat is mycoplasma I told you mycoplasma ka kya bologi? Mycoplasma is always Diana. Diana, Diana ka pura cat. Hai. Also, one more test there, Streptococcus MG test also for mycoplasma. But mat ka leptospira. Sat is kiske pas hota? Bruce Lee ke pas, Brucella. See, these are the questions whenever you're sleeping also, when somebody asks you, just have to come automatically. That's what I gave you all these shortcuts. It's all in my previous lectures. You can check, but again, I will revise you again in revision before exam, your FMG also. Okay, sat. And another important thing is your blood test. All the blood test, you know, for all the blood tests you're doing also, we can use it. And one more thing also, where for your, uh, you, you, you're going to do it for what? RH incompatibility testing, RH testing, okay, RH testing. Basically, we're talking about Coombs test here. Coombs test, okay. Coombs also tube agglutination. So here, a little bit about Coombs. We have to talk about Coombs because Coombs has come here. Again, it's more a uh, uh, pathological cut thing, but I still, I wanted you guys to revise it here only. So uh, in Coombs test, okay. In Coombs test, what happened? What are you detecting? You're detecting what? You're detecting an incomplete, you're detecting the incomplete RH antibody, right? You're going to detect the RH antibody. So here, there are two. You can have a uh, direct, direct Coombs, and you can have an indirect comb, direct and indirect comb. Okay, direct comb and indirect, direct comb and indirect comb. When we talk about direct and the indirect comb, direct and the indirect comb. So what happened here? In direct comb is you're detecting this antibody, RH antibody in the fetus. Fetus. Okay, remember the, the direct, uh, bache directly Bhagwan ka gift. Okay, God's gift, child, fetus is child gift. So direct means in fetus. In fetus, it is in vivo, in vivo test. In fetus, in vivo test is a direct comb. Indirect is mother. Mother indirectly baby ko de hai. Okay, mother indirectly gives the baby. So it's for mother. For mother, it is indirect. You're taking the RH antibody. And then what? This is the in vitro test. In vitro test. Okay, this is in vitro. In vitro means doing it outside. In vivo means inside. So please remember this question has been asked. It's again, I'm saying this is not mine. This is more C double O, uh, combs. I think see double O M S. Okay, I I'm just giving you so. Okay, combs. Okay, yeah. So combs can be direct comb, direct comb, direct with the fetus. Sir, but God ka direct gift. When indirect means it's the mother. So it is the uh, in vitro test. Okay. So this for comb test. Okay, right. That's it. So we have finished up the tube agglutination. These are the tests you have to remember. And definitely you can expect a question. Which are the following or tube agglutination test or except whatever they can give you. Okay. So you be uh, thorough with this. Okay. Now next. Passive agglutination. When you talk about passive agglutination, uh, we have to write it like this. Because when you talk about passive agglutination, we have two types of passive agglutination. Okay, we are talking about two passive agglutination tests here. See, uh, uh, passive agglutination, I can make it as passive agglutination. And there is a reverse passive agglutination. Reverse passive reverse passive agglutination two tests are there you can have question from here what detects what see whenever you say passive means it is like passive when reverse passive means it's somewhat like a direct no it was somewhat like a direct when you reverse passive whenever you talk a passive passive is almost like indirect it, it sounds like indirect test okay indirect agglutination test reverse passive means passive ko reverse karega to active ho jayega, na? so direct so whenever i told you whenever there is a direct test okay direct test you always detect what direct means please remember this question will be asked direct means always you are thinking thinking about the detecting what antigen you're detecting the antigen okay when you just when you talk indirect means always it is detecting the antibody you're detecting the antibody by using i mean you're quoting you know uh, in a, in the latex or rbc quoted latex or the rbc which is coated with the antigen, so to detect the antibody. Here again, antigen is detected. So it means the latex or RBCs is coated with the antigen. Opposite, hoga, na? okay. So idea is you're detecting the antigen here and here the antibody. So what are the example? Passive agglutination, you know, who is passive? There's only one person passive. 
uh, here you have to remember what your in rheumatic fever is uh, in rheumatic fever. I'm sorry, I want to change the color. It looks same, similar. Uh, to go with the green. No, I want with the, this color. Okay. Here, what happened? Passive example is ASLO titer. ASLO titer in rheumatic fever. If you remember rheumatic fever, we are checking for the ASLO titer. Anti streptococcal lysine O titer. So that is usually the passive agglutination test. Okay. Passive as low. Passive as low. Okay. As low, passive. That's it. It's only one test. Okay. Here, when you talk about reverse passive, you have a list of tests. Example, what? What are they? HBS AG antigen. You're detecting by reverse passive, you're detecting. And we're detecting what? C reactive protein antigen. And we're detecting what? Rheumatic, uh, uh, rheumatic arthritis fever, RA factor antigen. <coughs> rheumatic arthritis factor antigen. Many antigens like this, not just this. Okay. So all wherever the antigen comes, you're using the reverse passive method. Okay, that's it. This much only you have to remember. Okay, example. I'm just giving you some examples. You're doing the reverse passive agglutination. Okay. Direct antibody. Uh always direct means antigen. When you talk about indirect antibody, that's it. Okay. So ASLO, ASLO is a type of anti, it's an antibody, no? This is an anti streptococcal lysine antibody. That's what you're taking this. Okay. That's it. This was the passive agglutination test. I hope you're clear now. Neutralization test. Now, third test. The third test is your neutralization test. Uh, here, what we're going to do here is in neutralization test, the third test, very simple. Neutralization, nothing. See what you're doing. You're using a neutralizing antibody. That's it. See, there's a B cell, uh, microbes and toxins are entering. Then what happened? B cell automatically produced the antibody. Antibodies are produced. So there are some uh, neutralizing antibodies, what they do, they go and just neutralize the microbe and the toxin. That's it. Just neutralizing. Okay. So shortcut, how to remember? Remember my name, Santosh. Santo, Santosh, San. Okay. San, which are the neutralization tests? Shortcut I'm giving for that. San inhibits or neutralize. Both have same meaning. Huh? Both have same meaning. Inhibit or neutralizes the SAN usually neutralizes or inhibit everything. That's it. Okay. SAN inhibits or neutralizes everything. That's it. This is the clue. So, kya kya aega SAN ka? Okay. Now, let's talk about individual. So, here, what we have, what are things we're going to say is, yes for, you remember which test? Shik's test. Shik's test. Shik test, yeah. You will answer me where we are going to use now. Okay. And A for ASO, ASLO. ASLO test. Okay. ASLO title test or whatever you can use. Okay. And N stands for your Negless. Negless test or Negless reaction. Okay. Negless test. And what about this inhibitor? That is actually plague inhibition test. Plague inhibition test. Plague inhibition test. Okay. Or hemagglutination. Hemagglutination inhibition test. Okay, this all are under neutralization test. Please remember. Okay, neutralization test. So shik test, you know, a classic shika. Shika ka kya hai? Diphtheria hai. Electric shika. Electric gel precipitation and shik, shik test is classic for diphtheria. Cornebacterium diphtheria. That question was asked. So it's a neutralization test. That's what I'm stressing. You have a question here. Definitely question. ASLO for rheumatic fever. Rheumatic fever, the, same, the technique is same. This is basically plague inhibition and also hemoglobin this all this all you're doing for rheumatic fever only for rheumatic fever especially all these things are done and negless reaction means negless i told you my favorite question negless naga naga kya karta hai naga naga ka kya hai close mr perfect close stadium per fringes close stadium per fringes for mr perfect naga mr perfect naga if you remember that's a neutralization test okay even nn is their clue if you forgot also so these are the tests for your neutralization who is neutral santosh is neutral dr santosh me i'm this new i'm a neutral guy remember like that san okay chic test aslo titer ka plague inhibition or hemagglutination inhibition test and n for negless test so these are the neutralization tests you have to remember that's it very very simple okay now next one complement fixation test See, this is the way we are going fast because these are things, you know, it's just it's a revision. I know you've already studied, only thing it doesn't come in your mind. So remember like that, okay? Everything I'm giving clue from there and there only. Complement, complement fixation test, you know, uh, uh, first I'll, I'll tell you what's complement. Complement fixation, basically what happened normally, whenever an, whenever an antibody, uh, when you add a RBC and an antibody to the sheep RBC, normally, uh, nor, this is normal, okay? When a sheep RBC mixed with the, uh, antibody to this sheep RBC is there. What happened? Normally, you will have a hemolysis will be there. There will be hemolysis. Okay, hemolysis will be there. But when you add a complement, when you add a complement here, 
what happened when you add a complement there is no hemolysis okay hemolysis is not there that's it that's what you are adding a complement to see there's no hemolysis okay that's it that's the procedure normally there is a hemolysis when you add a complement complement kya karta sabko kadam karta that means there will not be any hemolysis okay so that's what shortcut kaise humne always give complement complement ka dusra naam ke either you can compliment someone or you can give them tips okay give tips to kis kis ka dena hai tips for few people who are the few people ek sabina ko de do sabina ko compliment de do dusra aapko washerman washerman ka sabina is a washer woman or washerman okay sabin washerman inka okay sabina or sabin who you want washerman okay and sabin washerman also what you have to give for viba and also for rbc give compliment for rbc okay sir ye kya sir these three are names and the rbc is rbc only so now you have to remember all the new all the complement fixation test here okay what are those complement fixation test here i'm just going to write in a while now here i'm going to write it here okay yes for sabin fieldman sabin fieldman sabin fieldman test we'll talk about which disease now in a one minute and then washerman washerman sabin fieldman washerman test and then vibaka vibriocidal 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 rbc ka r for uh, uh, rickettsia rickettsia and b for brucella and c for chlamydia chlamydia and here i gave you tip no so tip so don't forget the tip tip for triponemal 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 immobilization test triponemal immobili session test uh, immobilization test or procedure whatever okay triponema pallidum immobilization tpi i i would i wrote here tip the idea is that is the tpi that means triponema pallidum immobilization test triponema pallidum immobilization test okay uska tip ka trip kar do okay immobilization test okay now we are going to talk about which are the diseases coming where okay now you should answer me now so uh what are the tests coming which one where are the tests are coming so first was sabin filmen you know sabin filmen comes in toxoplasmosis i always remember what how do i remember sabina ka kya hai sabina is a pregnant woman so uske liye uska kya karna compliment karo thoda sa compliment karo uska cat se aata hai you know definite host is cat and a man is intermediate host cat ke litter se aata hai so sabina pregnant lady or uh, cat ke paas hai usko usko toxoplasmosis aa raha hai so that, please give her a compliment aa gaya frequently asked question in your fmg ओके एंड वॉशरमैन वॉशरमैन किसका है वॉशरमैन का क्या आता है सिफिलिस आता है वॉशरमैन गेट्स व्हाट सिफिलिस कान नॉट ओनली सिफिलिस नॉट ओनली सलमान खान शाहरुख खान गेट्स सिफिलिस इवन योर वॉशरमैन आल्सो थोड़ा सिफिलिस आएगा सो ध्यान रख लो आपको कोई भी घर पे वॉश करके आता है वॉशरमैन का थोड़ा ध्यान रख लो उसके भी सिफिलिस है ओके प्लीज बी केयरफुल विद दैट एंड टिपल ट्रिपोनिमा पैलेडम आल्सो व्हाट ट्रिपोनिमा नाम में है ट्रिपोनिमा पैलेडम इज दैट इज द कॉस्टिव एजेंट ऑफ सिफिलिस सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द कंफर्मेटरी टेस्ट फॉर द सिफिलिस एज वीडियोरल आरपीआर आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट्स वाज स्क्रीनिंग 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 बट फॉर कंफर्मेटरी वन of the test is apart from uh, tpha and uh, hefty abs we have tpi very important test confirmatory test for the syphilis okay that is also complement fixation vibrio cidal is so checking the viba viba ka motility inhibit karke check karoge vibrio color okay that's name mein hai so not to worry viba also needs complement complement fixation question and three organisms also used uh, diagnosis ke liye we can use what are they rbc rickettsia brucella chlamydia okay that's it this is a complement fixation test so is that's why i'm saying very easy immunology is very easy only you have to put some clues here and there just from the heading itself you will score everything you will never make mistake okay and this is one of the place where you are making usually mistake okay excuse me just my coffee okay excuse yeah now the elisa now the newer methods newer methods may elisa so what are the things you uh, elisa elisa we don't need to know everything so no just elisa full form you should know what is that it is the enzyme linked they can ask many times they have asked just this only enzyme linked immuno immuno sorbent assay enzyme linked immuno sorbent assay okay everything is important enzyme linked immuno sorbent nothing else okay they can change this word and twist you and all okay so what happened this is basically this 96 stator plate 96 stator plate remember this 96 stator plate and this is the what this is the best elisa is the best screening test best screening test is screening test for anything you know especially excuse me hiv or hepatitis or any virus you come for screening ke liye the most commonly used test is 
this one that's a question the best screen is always elisa okay so here basically what happened you're detecting either antigen or antibody so let's say here we are detecting the antibody so when we are detecting the antibody what happened here you have the target protein these are the target protein okay and you are adding the the antibodies here target body is here so what happened you are adding the enzyme labeled antibody with the substrate like this you are adding and then what happened they combine together and they form a reaction like this you will get color okay like this this yellow color is formed that is positive so accordingly you give the result okay so now what happened elisa Eliza, come just very briefly. This question was not asked, but I just want to tell you. you never know they can ask types of Eliza. Types of Eliza. First of all, see, uh, we have a direct. I, I would say disc shortcut is D I S C D I S C disc. Huh? Disc for direct, direct Eliza, direct Eliza. Okay, direct Eliza, indirect Eliza, direct. I'm just only saying the name and basic things. Okay, this which is you must know at least. Okay, uh, and uh, sandwich. Yes, sandwich. Sandwich and C for complementary Eliza. Okay, complementary Eliza. Okay, so direct, indirect, sandwich, complementary Eliza. What we detect? What we detect? Okay, uh, what we detect? What we detect and what we use? What we use? Okay, what we use? Yeah, here what what um, to detect what? This is to detect what? To detect and what we use? That's the question. So what we did is in direct, always again and again, I'm repeating whenever the word direct comes, don't forget what direct means. You're detecting the antigen. Indirect means you're detecting the antibody. Okay. And again, in sandwich may be same. You can write like this antigen, again, antibody. Order AC, order major. So that will be easy. Okay. Antigen, antibody, antigen, antibody. Here, antigen or antibody also, right? Okay. So whenever you antigen, you're detecting. It means you use what? You use primary antibody. Remember like this, primary antibody. And for indirect, you're using secondary antibody. And here, it can be primary, again, secondary antibody. Again, here, this is, can be primary or secondary, depending upon which is thing. Primary is a direct antibody against that particular antigen. And secondary is basically antibody against the human antibody. Okay, I'm not going much deep into that things. Okay, so please remember, whenever the word direct comes, it's antigen, gen, gen. Indirect comes, it's always antibody. That could be one question asked. That's it. Okay. And otherwise, I'm not going to talk about procedures and all. Okay. Not that important here. So let's skip to the next part. Immunofluorescence. So in newer method, next is immunofluorescence. Immunofluorescence again. What is important here is immunofluorescence. Me, uh, instead of there, we are using immunosorbent. Here we are using this fluorochrome. So it will just it will chrome. There it was just the color. Yellow image just the color. Here, whatever you can see, the fluorescent signing also. Like like if you remember auramin, rhodamine uh, in uh, tuberculosis. And uh, uh, acridine orange in your malaria. So those are the example. Calcofluor white in the fungal. These are few questions also asked in your previous exam. But like same way, here using a special fluorochrome substances to shine. Again, here are two things. You have direct, direct, uh, uh, direct immunofluorescent assay, and we have indirect, direct immunofluorescence, indirect immunofluorescence assay, and one very very important is your flow cytometry. Please remember this could be a question flow cytometry even if you forget if they ask question flow cytometry works under which principle have for flow have for fluorescence remember fluorescence so have for have that is a question again same thing i'm going to repeat here whenever you talk about direct that's why i'm stressing everywhere whenever the word direct comes you're detecting what antigen is detected when indirect comes you're detecting the antibody antibody flow cytometry you know for this for detecting which cells your cd4 cells CD4 and CD8, yeah, T cells, CD4, CD8, T cells, Kelly. Especially in HIV, you know, T cells goes on for counting them. Okay. So T cell ka to uh, both count and the differentiate. You you count number of C counting also, and also to differentiate whether it is CD4 or any. Actually, it counts every blood cells. Every blood cell, yeah, we are particularly we are stressing on the CD4 cells. Okay. Flow cytometry, CD4, CD5. Okay, based on the you know, flow, how it flows, we get the thing. Okay. So this is for immunofluorescence. That's it. Okay. Yes, very simple. Blotting is another examiner's favorite question, and this is like I'm sure it's in your fingertips. Okay, so blotting technique. May what you do is that what you're doing in your blotting technique here is that see blotting basically whatever the cell cell say either we have to detect the DNA of the cell or RNA of the cell or the protein. Okay, for DNA it is always the southern blot. For RNA northern blot, western blot. So the, how do you remember this? You know that already. I don't even have to say. So south blot. Uh, northern blot, southern blot, northern blot, and the western blot. Western blot. Okay, these are the most three important. Eastern blot also is there, but I'm not going to stress on that. That is not that uh, important here actually. Now, so for uh, for us, 
साउथ साउथ मीन्स वॉट साउथ में क्या फेमस है दोसा इज फेमस सो दिस इज द वे डी एन ए साउथ मीन्स डी एन ए नॉर्थ में क्या क्या फेवरेट है रोटी इज फेवरेट सो आर एन ए टू डिटेक्ट दी आर एन ए वेस्टर्न कंट्री में क्या क्या पॉपुलर है पिज्जा पॉपुलर है सो प्रोटीन सो प्रोटीन टू डिटेक्ट दिस वन दैट्स इट सो यू दिस क्वेश्चन ऑलवेज इवन माई एग्जाम आई रिमेंबर दे आस फ्रीक्वेंटली नाउ डेज आई डोट नो हाउ मच दे आर आस्किंग बट यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट दिस ओके सो साउथ ब्लॉट नॉर्थन ब्लॉट वेस्टर्न ब्लॉट एंड दीज आर दिंग्स बीन डिटेक्टेड ओके सो यूजली यू यूज अगरोस इट्स बेसिकली जेल एल्ट्रोफोरिस वी डू ब्लॉटिंग मीन्स यू जस्ट एक यू ब्लॉटिंग मीन्स यू सी यूर यूजिंग दिस ब्लॉटिंग टाइप ऑफ थिंग ओके लाइक यू यूज अगरोस और पॉलियाक्रेडेमिन फॉर वेस्टर्न ब्लॉट यूजिंग पॉलियाक्रेडेमिन पी फॉर पी पॉलियाक्रेडेमिन ओके प्रोटीन प्रोटीन पॉलियाक्रेडेमिन so there then what happened you see the special uh, this band sort of thing and now that's electrophoresis then according to the molecular weight and whatever you give the test okay that's a blotting technique right now rapid test in rapid test we have two rapid tests very very important two rapid tests what are the two important uh, rapid test you know one is the lateral flow assay this is the lateral flow lateral flow assay you call and other one is your this one second one this is your this is called as the uh, flow through assay flow through assay flow through it is flowing through okay flow through assay so lateral flow assay lateral flow assay what happens is that when in a lateral flow assay i'll tell you see you are putting this is the this is the kit this will be like this, the the rapid kit the test it will be like this is also called as immunochromatography okay immuno ict immuno chromatography so please don't confuse they are same on the graphy okay you know chromatographic test or ict test was we call okay so here what happened you are putting the blood sample here the serum sample here serum sample here and it will flow through like this and you will have a control and the uh, um, test so make sure that always your control comes positive the result don't worry about the result but whenever you put a sample the control should be positive then only it is valid then only it is valid if your control is not coming uh, if your control is not working and if your t is only t is working means the test is wrong so first always you have to check for the control only if the control is positive then you say the test is valid otherwise the kit is wrong kit ko throw kar do discard kar do kit ko okay so first you have to see the control then only you see the test test me if a line comes it can be positive if there is no line then it can be negative okay so many for many of the uh, microbiological tests we are using the very popular ones are malaria dengue chikungunya dengue chikungunya chikungunya and even for hepatitis also hepatitis b hbs ag ka everything we have even hiv also we have everything we are using this okay rapid test is very very important test okay so lateral flow is immune it's a rapid test quickly available you can do flow through as is basically what happened it's flowing like this okay here it is going lateral flow it is going like this yeah? that's why sure in a flow through it will be like this so flow through me see this kit this is a kit ah uh, like this you see here right you put the drop it will be small this much only only in one place only so you have to control you see control and the test same here also control should come positive like this okay it should be valid then uh, if it is not control is not there that is invalid okay if this is right if positive means you see both the test and control should be positive then that is positive okay we are it's very this is uh, in hiv we are using uh, the test ka naam hai tried out tried out test okay tried out it means uh, you have one control and uh, one control and two tests so that means like hiv1 hiv2 is there no so accordingly when here it's not even but usually tried out means for three h one is control and other test for hiv1 and hiv2 so we use this one okay so this is a lateral flow so these are the rapid tests okay two important rapid tests now next one now another very very important one is your uh, we are going to the uh, antigen presentation okay by hla uh, hla or mhc molecule okay just Uh, we are going to talk about that now one second i'm sorry it's a winter and you need you know something warm to drink yeah so here you see antigen uh, what is the other name for hla mhc it's basically human leukocyte antigen human leukocyte antigen or otherwise called as mhc major histo compatibility major histo compatibility okay major histo compatibility complex major histo compatibility complex questions are asked very very important here so what is the main function here if you see her uh, in this part yeah where i'm just coming here yeah so you see her this is the antigen presenting cell the antigen presenting cell 
okay with the in with the presence of this mhc protein only it is presenting the antigen to the t cells okay then what happened the t cell gets activated and release the mediator and then all the reactions happen so that means this mhc molecule is very very important in causing any uh, cells cause this thing it's very very important okay so it's very important presenting the antigen so to say simply it for presenting the antigen now before going to individual thing mhc1 mhc2 first of all you should know about the few important things here very very important they are uh, we uh, where this located hle is located in the chromosome chromosome number that was asked many times chromosome number 6 how to remember they go hla is 3 3 hla na hla dusra naam mhc total count karo 3 plus 3 3 plus 3 ho gaya so 6 okay and short arm s for 6 s for short arm a bhi aapko clue mil gaya so you get a question right here okay this is a question chromosome 6 so now what happened in chromosome 6 mein we have uh, again uh, types of talk we have MHC 1, MHC 2, and MHC 3. Now, what about in chromosome 6? These are located in the different locus. So, how to remember the locus? Yes, I'm going to tell you now. So, locus, if you want to remember, MHC 1, one word. So, it is simply A, B, C. The locus on the, on the sixth chromosome, the locus A, B, C for 1. One letter, 1, 1, 1. 2 ka do letter on chahiye. 2 means 2 letter. So, D, P, T, Q, dr pqr okay do do letter they got two 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 letter here one 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 letter one for one two for two three may three letter on chahiye. so hsp heat shock protein 73 letter oh yeah then c2 c3 c4 complex on a c4 only c2 c3 a b three letter oh yeah. and tnf tnf also three letter you can ask they can ask you oh, anyway they can ask you from medicine point of view or pathology also they can ask you so very simple one 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 two 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 three 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 bus oh, yeah. now important for us is this one mh1 mh2 ka, how you differentiate that is very very important frequently asked question too yeah say up question about aega mh1 and mh2 first of all shortcut how to remember way one thing which i would like to stress here is how to remember very simple uh, one ka kaise yaad karogi? One na, sare, every cell has sare cell ke andar kitne hota? One nucleus hota hai. One nucleus. Remember like that. One cell, one nucleus. One cell, one nucleus. Ho gaya. That means MHC1 is present in the all nucleated cells. First point. It is located in all nucleated cells. One all nucleated. Sare, one means nucleus ek hota hai. So one, one. Okay, one, one. All nucleated cells. Everything, every nucleus cell. And platelet. Platelet ko nucleus nahi hai, but uske andar bhi hai MH1. Except kisi do cells mein nahi hai. That was the question asked. Except which are the two cells? Except the, except, except your, except your RBC and sperm. Is mein nahi hai. Except sperm and RBC mein, there is no, there is no MHC. This was a question asked, frequently asked. So remember that. MH2 present well. MH2 ka kaise yaad karo? Andhra Pradesh. Do tukra ho gaya na? Andhra Pradesh was broken into two. 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 What is this? One is AP, other one is Telangana. If you remember, they were broken into two. Two means two. Why I say AP? Antigen presenting cell. APC. Antigen presenting cells. Antigen presenting cells. If you remember antigen presenting cells, so already we talked about it. I'm not going to stress here. It was bad microbes. So it is B cells. B cell. D for dendritic bad micro macrophage so remember these are also nucleated so means what all nucleated cells also here what apc is also present apc has mh1 so it means apc has both mhc 1 and 2 that is important that's what i want to stress okay so mhc1 ka all nucleated cells question question and accept this cell and apc here okay that's it second one you remember uh, nucleus is always inside. So what type of antigen it's presenting? What type of antigen uh, before that? Yes. What type of antigen is present? It's presenting the endogenous antigen. Endogenous antigen. Endogenous antigen. That means, that means it's really virus or tumor. Virus or tumor cells. Okay. Nucleus to cell ke andar hota hai na? This is the clue. Cell ke andar hota hai. Nucleus. One nucleus inside one cell. Anna, like this. So endogenous. Uh, it is a clue you are I'm making you link okay please okay here when you talk about two it is exogenous opposite 
exogenous. Okay. Exogenous means your bacteria, gicteria, kuch bhi, barshata, ochis. Okay. And third one important here is again nuclear cell ke under cell ke under cytoplasm. Hai. So cytosolic pathway, cytosolic pathway, cytosolic pathway, cytosolic pathway. Okay, beautiful. I've written this beautiful cell for that only, just for your understanding only. Okay, beautiful cell. Here it is the endocytic pathway. It is called endocytic pathway. Endocytic pathways. Please don't confuse exogenous. Exogenous antigen, exogenous or endogenous antigen, and endocytic pathway. Here, endogenous antigen, cytosolic pathway. And another most important thing is that MHC one present to which cell? CD, CD eight, CD eight cell, CD eight, CD eight. Okay, so one is to eight is equal to eight. Here, MHC two present to which one? CD four, CD four. That means. 2 into 4 is equal to 8. You got it? 2 into 4 is equal to 8. So these are all our questions. Very, very important question. I've repeated it. I've told you. Please don't forget. These are the five points. You must, one more point I'm going to tell you. And they are attachment points. See, here we are. MHC point ka receptor situs. You remember alpha 1 and alpha 2. 1, 1, alpha men is always 1. Alpha, 1 is always alpha, alpha. 1 and 2. Okay. 2 minus 1 be 1. Okay. 2 minus 1. So alpha 1, alpha 2 is the binding site. The binding site is alpha 1, alpha 2 for MHC1. For MH2, it is the beta 1, alpha 1. That is alpha 1, beta 2. Alpha 1, beta 1. Sorry. Alpha 1, beta 1. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. But alpha, alpha, nahiya, beta ho jayega. That is important. Okay. I'm sorry. The space is a little bit thing. I want to finish everything in one page. That's what. Okay. You got it? So very easy. So alpha 1. Uh, here it is the alpha 1, beta 1, MH2. Ka. So 2 and 2 ka, 2. Aana so 2 case 1, 1, karo, but alpha, beta. Karo alag. But 1 is always alpha men or like always 1. You know, the, the guys who say I'm alpha, alpha, they always want to be 1, 1, 1. So 1, 1 case alpha, alpha. Do. They are always alpha. 1 is always alpha, alpha. 1, 2. But 2 minus 1, kya hoga? 1 na jayega. So 1. Okay, like that. Okay. This is looking a little bit stupid when I say like that, but that's the way you're going to remember. Okay. This is just only, you know, objective question. So you have to remember like this only. Okay. So we finished about the antigen presentation, MHC. Okay. Now, cytokines. Cytokines, you know, cytokines are important inflammatory mediators. You know that one. So now each uh, each one has an important function. Each uh, interleukin has an important function. So there's a clue for everything. Okay. One first is first. No, one or first you can say. So here for fever. It is an important role in fever. Interleukin one ka dose do hai. Interleukin six and TNF. TNF alpha. TNF alpha. Please remember this. This you have to know. Uska friend hai. One ka friend hai six. All causes fever. Okay. Right. Two. Two. Uh, how to remember two? So uh, uh, yeah, uh, in interleukin two, see. T ka T. So here it is what? I would say T helper. T helper activation. The T helper, it helps in the T helper 2. T helps in T helper activation. That's how we are. 2, 2, 2. T, 2. T for T helper activation. That's what we also call it as. This is also called T cell activator. There's so many names for this. But please remember T cell activator. Okay, that's it. This is important. Excuse me. Mm. 2. Now 3. 3 to look 3 is like this up 3 ka is ulta karega it become m so myeloid proliferation myeloid proliferation ke liye you need what interleukin 3 very very important myeloid okay m3 okay right uh, now 3 uh, uh, myeloid ka to lymphoid ka hai lymphoid ka 7 hai 7 ka is ulta karo it will become L. So, lymphoid proliferation. See, it's not easy. Very, very, very easy. Everything there is answer and you have a question from any of these things they can ask you. Frequently asked. This is interleukin at least 3 and 7 is frequently asked and 1 also frequently asked. Okay. 4. 4 and 5 also very, very important. 4 ka kese yaad ko 4. See, yeah, na, 4, 4, uh, interleukin 4, I want to help to do forgery for j forgery pro forgery okay bad things karne ke liye for use hota f for four four two two so help two ka kya hai one it helps in the t helper two activation and ye kya hai sir for g e q i a g for again class switching for immunoglobulin g and e class switching class 
स्विचिंग क्लास स्विचिंग ओके आ गया फोर्जरी फोर्जरी फोर फोर्जरी फोर फोर्जरी जी एंड ई सो जी एंड ई फोर्जरी ओके इंपॉर्टेंट एंड टी एल पर टू बिकॉज टू टू सो हेल्प टू हेल्प टू टी एल पर टू एक्टिवेशन लाइक टी एल पर हेयर टू इज मोर हेयर दिस इंटरलोक टू इज हेल्प इन मोर टी टी एल पर वन एक्टिवेशन बट कैन बी बोथ ऑल्सो ओके फाइव को कैसे याद करना फाइव का फाइव फीफा फीफा फाइफा सी एफ आई एफ आई हैव E FIFA football करो FIFA football football game है ना FIFA we call FIFA FIFA football है ना ऐसे याद करो so here FIFA में A आ गया so क्या class switching of which one here it is the class switching of here it is the class switching of IG A this also asked many times IG A class switching plus E for Eosinophil activation. Eosinophil activation. Please याद कर ले. Don't confuse. Okay. Eosinophil. G and E four G re five a five a five a five a a a I G and eosinophil. Okay. Question can be asked. Six. Ah, uh, here ah uh, six is again. I told it's a friend of one. है ना? So like it is almost like interleukin one. It's like interleukin one. Fever giver का help कर रहा है. बस. Okay. And also T N F alpha. They all are same family. Okay. Almost same. Eight, eight is also very important, very easy. Eight को कैसे याद होगी भी? Art है ना? Chemo art, chemo taxes, art, art, art. हिंदी में art means eight, so chemo taxes, art eight. Finished. Okay, very simple. There's no any point you know you will forget anything. Okay, so so simple. Everything is there. Clue is already there. Oh no, you just have to only go through once, read my lecture once properly. Just you know write it somewhere or stick somewhere. Uh, just see one or two times you will do it and revision class is coming there also i will bring again all these things there okay now 10 10 ka kaise 10 itna puchta nahi hai so you don't have to 10 ka 10 you said 10 ka 10 10 decrease okay it will decrease all the cytokine actually it will decrease all the cytokine decreases the cytokine okay that's it nothing much special about this one 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 ka this is easy this is for plate लेट एक्टिवेशन प्लेटलेट एक्टिवेशन देखो लेवन लेवन है एल एल आ गया एल एल आ गया दैट मीन वन वन लेवन एल 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 प्लेटलेट ओके वेरी सिंपल दिस कैन बी ए क्वेश्चन वन टू का कैसे याद करना वन टू का अलग अलग कर दो वन का यू मेक इट एस टी हेल्प वन एक्टिवेशन Help in T L P. Like apart from your uh, uh, your interleukin two, T help of one activation. टू में दो है दो का तो टू है ना टू नेचुरल किलर नेचुरल किल का कितना लेटर्स है टू सो नेचुरल किलर सेल एक्टिवेशन हो गया वन इधर आ गया टू इधर आ गया नेचुरल किलर वन एंड टू वन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू नेचुरल किलर सो क्वेश्चन ओके गॉट इट नाउ नाउ नो आई चेंज द कलर सेम कलर इज बोरिंग हाँ इंटरलुक इन थर्टीन वन प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू फोर सो It is more like a interleukin four activation. Interleukin four, interleukin four ka dost. Okay, thirteen is interleukin four like activation. That's it. Okay, that is also simple. Do not forget. Now interleukin alpha and beta, they have more antiviral property. Antiviral. Whereas gamma has gamma has which gamma ka kya hai? It is more anti-tumor. Anti-tumor. That so you should know this. This is pakka apka al yada na chahiye. Only thing is that alpha is coming from the macrophage. This question is asked. Beta is coming from beta fibroblast. F I B fibroblast. They go B B B beta B B आ गया. Easy. So you will not forget. Very simple. Huh? Alpha man, alpha macro man, macrophage. Okay. And gamma, gamma is you know gamma. Always you, you if you remember in surgery there is a gamma knife. Gamma knife surgery kills. It is usually it kills the tumor. Gamma knife kills the tumor. ओके गामा गामा आ गया किल ट्यूमर ट्यूमर आ गया किल गामा नाइफ सर्जरी ने स्पेशल सर्जरी दैट टू किल द ट्यूमर दे रिमूव द ट्यूमर विद दिस गामा नाइफ सो अल्फा सो गामा सो गामा विल बी व्हाट इट इज द सोर्स इज फ्रॉम नेचुरल किलर एंड टी सेल्स दैट्स व्हाट आई वांट टू से किलर आ गया ना किल नेचुरल किलर सेल्स सो सोर्स इज नेचुरल किलर सेल यू कैन हैव डेफिनेट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दीस टू सोर्स ओके एंड टीएनएफ अल्फा Very tricky one. Very very tricky one. Uh, one second. Yeah, I have to few say few more things also here. Yeah. Uh, in uh, uh before going okay T N F alpha. Ah, uh, before going that, I would say okay. I'll I'll first finish T N F alpha. It's better. Okay. So here what happened? T N F alpha. Hmm. T N F alpha. See Tamil Nadu police always I say Tamil Nadu 
you know police force tamil nadu police force is always number one that means interleukin one and six are friends i already told you they are the friends of this one number two tnf has very important role in sepsis very dangerous okay i would say dangerous tamil nadu force oh no i would say dangerous tamil nadu force tnf why one is sepsis and other one what is the important thing it causes namehe necrosis so it causes necrosis of the cancer necrosis of the tumor necrosis of tumor huh? and other one it causes hemorrhagic impact hemorrhagic impact okay especially some bacteria you know they cause hemorrhagic impact causes okay and other one important thing is tnf of course tumor tumor is weight loss hoga so you will have what lipolysis lipolysis and weight loss so a all katarnak cheese na this is because of tnf alpha so their question will be that's why i'm stressing everything all dangerous things will come in your tnf alpha okay that you remember now uh, something i told you see you, when you talk about this interferon you should know the treatment purpose of this uh, interferon uh, alpha beta it's very commonly asked so use uh, i'm going to write here use of uh, interferon alpha is usually used in which infection Okay, let me write like this: interferon alpha, interferon beta, and interferon gamma. So, what are the uses of these things? Interferon gamma, right? Gamma. Ah. So, now what are the use of all these things? Okay, I am going to say now: interferon alpha, we use it where for hepatitis, HCV, you know. HCV, hepatitis B virus, hepatitis C virus infection, we can use interferon. Also, a lot of cancers you use in sarcoma, melanoma, etc., etc. Okay, sarcoma, melanoma, many cancers, but HBV and HCV is important. Beta B, so this is used in the multi best, I would say best medical supernet, best MS. Okay, we have best MS. So, MS is multiple sclerosis. We are using in multiple multiple sclerosis multiple sclerosis okay multiple sclerosis may we are using multiple sclerosis that's question asked gamma g so it is in the chronic granulomatous disease granulomatous g for g g so chronic um, I mean, the answer is chronic granulomatous disease this was there in my exam i remember we got this interferon gamma used in okay so these are basically pathological part but i'm just bringing it here so that it's under topic and it'll be like a revision for you guys okay alpha is a you know, b and c sarcomeloma and uh, beta is for the multiple best uh, ms medical supernet multiple sclerosis and gamma is the chronic gr uh, chronic granulomatous disease okay got it right nice next now class which over class which over is again very easy topic It is basically class which over is basically what is class which over means. Yeah, see, class which over means uh, it's nothing. What happens is that they uh, first of all, see, whenever antigen enters this antigen presenting cell, they present the antigen to the T helper. T helper gets activated. Then T helper, after T helper activation, T helper will activate the B cell. Okay, T helper cell, the T helper cell activate with the B cell to produce the immunoglobulin. So, what happened? T cell may there is something called CD40 ligand, and B cell may there is something called CD40 ligand. This 4040, this 4040 will interact. That is called the CD4040 interact called class which over. This will help what? The CD4040 interaction will activate the B cell. That means the B cell, no, uh, first of all, it will become a uh, it is it is it is a centrioblast will become centriocyte. You know, centrioblast will become centriocyte, and the centriocyte becomes plasma cell. And you know, from plasma cell, what happened? All the immunoglobulin will arise. The first immunoglobulin would be, if you remember, the first immunoglobulin, immunoglobulin M. And from there, further differentiation class switching happens and all other immunoglobulin, immunoglobulin G, A, you know, uh, E, all other immunoglobulins, D, everything comes from there. Okay. So this interaction is ligand, CD4040 interaction is important for producing the cell. So again, we know, I, we already told you, if you remember, uh, G and A, a forgery, forgery, G and E, G and E, if you're going to see it, uh, for G, here it is, M ka something, see, G, forgery, G and E, they come by presence of interleukin 4, forgery, and 5, it's helping in the production of IgA, okay, forgery, this is forgery, and this is FIVA, F I F I F E A, FIVA, okay, A. A will come here. 
IgA. Okay, this is the clue. Okay, so interleukin five as a role here and interleukin four as role here. That's it. So this is the thing. Finally, you have this thing. That's it. Okay. So anywhere, what happened when this ligand interaction doesn't happen properly, you will have hyperimmunoglobin M syndrome. That is one because the further differentiation into this thing will not happen when the when this complete process happens only you are getting differentiated. Otherwise, everything will be IgM. So it's called hyper uh, IgM syndrome. So that important. But please remember CD forty forty ligand is important. That's why the B cell could differentiation. Can you need CD4040 interaction. Here it is. CD40, CD40. This interaction is very, very important. That's it. That's all I want to stress here. Okay. That's it. Complement system. So in complement system, uh, yes. Now in the complement system, very, very easy. You have to know few things. What are the important things here in a complement system? So here, complement system, three pathways we have. Classic pathway, alternate pathway, and minus pathway. Oh, before going that, complement pathway almost occupies the five percentage. C complement ka aise ulta karega to kya hoga? It will become uh, ulta karo aise karega, then you put here 5. Okay, 5 percentage of plasma protein. Plasma protein. Remember that, okay? It occupies the 5 percentage of the plasma protein, complement protein. So we have three pathways, classical, alternate pathway. So now, first of all, we'll write individual pathway and some few important points you should know. In classic pathway, classic pathway, and then comes the Alternate pathway, and then comes the manos binding, manos binding pathway. Okay, now first of all, how it starts? Who is the starting? Who starts it? Okay, who start? Which uh, which uh, immunoglobulin starts it? Okay, and then which is the first complement? Which is the first complement activated? And then which type of immunity it has, which type of immunity it has. Okay, I'm sorry, the space is hidden. Uh, we, anyway, I'm going to write it there. Don't worry, whatever immunity is going to happen here. Okay, that's it. Okay, so this is the important point you should know. First of all, in classic pathway, if you remember, we are very uh, thorough about it. Uh, I told who is the main millionaires? Millionaires have a classic life, IG, a millionaires, more than G. Okay, that's a question. Please remember, kiske pas classic uh, life hota, classic complement, classic life kiske pas hota, millionaires Mukesh Ambani ke pas hota, M, M millionaire Mukesh Ambani, okay, hota. And alternate and minus ko, alternate ka I forgot to tell you, I, G, A, A, same, same, A for A, A for apple, A for alternate pathway. This also frequently asked, alternate pathway is start, uh, is stimulated by I, G, A. And also some of the, they say, uh, lipopolysaccharides and your uh, cobra venom and all, but that's not that important. Usually asked question is I, G, A. Manos, ka, uh, manos is manos. So here just the lectin, the lectin compounds, the lectin compounds and uh, everything. Okay, not that important. Join here. Okay. The first complement which is active in classic, classic is always number one. Classic rich people always number one. C1, C1, C1. C1, C1, C1. Very easy. Okay, C1, C1, C1. Alternate ka, three. Alternate ka dekho. A of kese likhogi? One stroke, two stroke, three stroke. So it is C3. Got it? C3 is the first complement for first first complement activated in this pathway manos me man m a n n man man okay man in tamil man is a dear okay man m a not one and double n so c4 is the first complement question 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 this can be question as i told you classical pathway we already i, I was i've repeated it many times when we talk about classical pathway which immunity we are talking here we are talking the adaptive adaptive you know classic life is adapted not in it adaptive okay but alternate manus i told innate 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 okay innate immunity this was also a question adaptive immunity innate innate immunity adaptive immunity i i i want to write okay that's it now when you talk little bit about the complement cup pathway exactly in the classical pathway you see the order which are the complements are activated in classic pathway is C, I'll go in order. Here it is C1, C4, C2. So C1, then C4, but you write C1, C2, C4. These are the three things coming classic. You have to mug it up, no other option. Alternate. <coughs> in alternate, but okay, or I'll write it down. It's better. Okay, I'll repeat it again so it'll be very easier. So it's like this. So uh, I'm going to again change the color of the pen. Very, this is you have to keep in your fingertips. That's what I'm stressing here. So what happened in your classic pathway, in your classic pathway, and then uh, alternate pathway, and then your manos pathway, manos pathway, right? Manos pathway. So as we told, in each pathway, there are something activating. So what are the complements involved in, involved in 
each one. In classic pathway, C1 is the first one. Apart with this, we have C2, C4 is involved. Okay, C4. Okay. In alternate pathway, three strokes, so only C3 is involved. Manos may, manos may two things. I told C4 is the uh, beginner, but yamper C4 bhi hai, C2 bhi hai. C2 also will come. One nahi aayega. There is no one, just C4, C2. Or you remember C2, C4. I, I, the first is so I'm getting this order. C4, C2. Anyway, ye sabko common pathway kaha hai? It's a C3 only. Got it? C3. For C3, what happened? It goes and combines with the, it activates the next complex, which one? C5, 6, 7, 8, 9 complex. Membrane attack complex. That causes the lysis of the cell. Lytic pathway, then they go the lysis. Lysis of the bacteria or whatever. Lysis of the cell. Very simple, basic. This only, this funda is very important. The rest all are easy. Okay. So C1, C2, C3 is important here. Here C3, C3. And finally, they form a complex. This is common for this. This is common for all. This is common for all. Okay. This is common. C3 say everything is common for all. Okay. So, see here. If you remember, C3 should work here. Then finally, it ends in the, this thing. This is a common. It forms a C529 complex and destroys the cell. That's it. This is the basic you remember. Okay. So now if you remember this, it becomes easy. What are the functions and the changes? So before going to the yeah, function, we'll treat. Function is very important, frequently asked. Uh, if you remember, what is the function? You would know individual functions. First of all, C3A, uh, 4A, 5A. You should know A, A, A. What is the function of A? And then we have C3, B, ka, what is the function? And also C3, uh, 5A, ka, we have a special function also. And then C5 to 9 complex. That is C5, 6, 7, 8, 9 complex. Ka, what is the function? All this AAA helps in which reaction, if you remember? You know very well by this time. You must be thorough and definite questions asked. Anaphylaxis. A for A, A for anaphylaxis. Okay. AAA, A for apple, A for anaphylaxis. Anaphylactic toxins also they call it as. Okay. B, B for BP. Huh? Opsonization. Opsonization. Whenever you talk about opsonization, uh, not only that, even your IG. G is important role, then M, IgG, M, and 3B. They all help in the opsonization. So B, P, B, P. If you forget also, Bob. Okay, shortcut, remember Bob. Bob, okay. 5A, A is chemo taxes. 5A, chemo taxes. 5A, chemo taxes, you have to remember. Okay, 5 is like, Chemo ka five words and a five. Chemo is five. One, two, three, four, five, five. A. A for A only. Access. Chemo taxes. Okay. If you remember chemo taxes, interleukin eight also has important role. Interleukin eight, I'm also bringing here. So they can ask any question. And these are a very golden question. These are like golden, golden questions you must know even when you are waking up. Okay. And five to nine, I told they form the membrane attack complex. Yeah, they form the what? Membrane attack complex. That is the membrane attack complex final complex which causes lysis of the bacteria virus or whatever attack complex okay uh this is the one these are the functions okay right now uh before going to disease yeah now what happened each individual pathway when the pathway goes uh when the pathway happens you should know that what are the changes will happen okay first in classic pathway alternate pathway I'm, I'm talking about what are the changes will happen in the blood. In blood, may what are the changes when this complement is activated? How to identify? Alternate pathway, another one is your manos. So as I told you, in this pathway, sare pathway may common thing is what we just spoke. In every pathway, C3, C3, and C5 to 9, everything goes down. Everything goes to, these are commonly, they decrease in the blood for everything, okay? For everything, C3, C5 to 9, C3 and C5 to 9, okay? Because that is a common pathway, so sabko kam hota hai. But in classic me, we, we told that in classic me, what are the things activated here? C1, C2, C4, okay? This activator, so that means, A poor activity, so what's kya hota hai? This also will go down. So C1, C2, C4 will also go down, decrease. So that means in classic pathway, all goes down, all goes down, all decreases. In classic pathway, all goes down. Okay, remember in classic, everything goes down. In alternate pathway, 
C3 C शुरु होता है. It starts from C3 only. So only C3 C5, but not, but not, which is exception, not C1, C2, C4. Because ये कहाँ belong करता है? It's it's belonging to either uh, classic or manose. So this is not decreased. Okay, in blood this is not decreased. Manose part में भी we just told C2 C4 involved होता है. So that means C2 to C5 will decrease. With that, what happened? C2 and C4 also will decrease. But not which one? Not C1. Only C1 doesn't decrease. So if a question asked, don't get twisted. C1 is decreasing only in the classic pathway, not in this. So in that way, you're going to rule out the question. If you remember, that's what I told you. If you remember this very, if you, told, if you remember this pathway, the small, very easy one, you will not make any mistake. If they ask you what are the changes happening in each pathway, if they ask, you will never make mistake. Okay. All goes down. All C goes down in classic pathway. Classic may sub down. Paisa volume millionaires will go down. Okay, remember like that. Alternate may from C3 only. So C1, C2, C4 is safe. And in Manos may only C2, C4 with the other common pathway goes down, but not the C1. That's it. Okay, based on the previous thing you'll remember. Okay, very easy. If you have more doubt, you can write it in the comment section in YouTube. I will again explain you no problem. Okay, yes. So complement disease is very important. One disease, at least you know this picture, you might, you might get this picture. What is this disease you're seeing? Hereditary. It is this hereditary Angio, hereditary angioneurotic edema, edema, okay, edema. This question was asked, so please remember, hereditary angioneurotic edema is one question they can ask. And another important disease is that your um, paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, paroxysmal, paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria question. And the third one is your, which one? It is your? uh the the recurrent uh nasal infection recurrent nasiria infection recurrent nasal infection so now what are the problem what are the deficiency which disease you are getting <coughs> excuse hmm. healthy and you know that c1 stress c1 stress deficiency c1 stress is the one that usually controls the uh, con controls the complement system. But if this goes down, what happens? There will be increased amount of complement. Complement level goes very high. And so they get what? Edema. So this picture, what you're seeing is angioneurotic edema. This is a normal patient. Because of C1S deficiency, you can see swelling all over the lips and everything. Okay. So that's a question. Hereditary angioneurotic edema when C1S stress question was frequently asked. So you have to know. Complement get hyperactivated and edema will occur, swelling and everything. Paroxysmal nocturnal happens because of a factor called DAF factor, D, D, DK accelerating factor you call. Also, it's called CD55. So because of this defect, what happened? The patient will have a paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobin. Nighttime urine will go high. That's the meaning is that. Okay, DAF factor, DK accelerating factor. It's called as a DK accelerating factor. This is also an important role in controlling the complement pathway. When this goes down, you get paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobin urea. One question. Recurrent nasal infection, you know. This nasal infection happens, means may, one of the main reasons is your C5 to 9 complex. Membrane attack complex. Okay, we also call this membrane attack complex. Yeah, membrane attack complex. This is, if this goes down, if you don't have this complex in thing, you will have it. Okay, and moreover, you know, all the complements are produced, normally complements are produced in liver. Okay. Mainly we document C3, C6, C9, liver, and few things also produced in other macrophage and uh, other places also. Okay, so this is the important thing about complement disease. This much only you should know. If you know this, definitely one question, paka, you'll get. Okay, so don't forget classical is always activated by rich people, IgM, millionaire, and alternate is immunoglobin A. That is at least one question frequently asked. And with this disease and all, you should know. This much only about your complement disease. Very simple and easy. Now, acute phase protein. When you talk about the acute phase protein, uh, acute phase protein, see, AP, we usually call this APR, right? APR. Acute phase protein, it can be usually in inflammation, acute phase protein are produced. So what happens in some cases, acute phase protein, they can increase, they can, usually acute phase protein increases. But some protein will go decrease. Some protein will go decrease. Okay, some protein will go decrease. So how to remember? Increasing, increasing kya kar, inflammation ka time mein aapko AC ko bada karna hai, AC ko double karna hai, okay, AC, 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 AC. Decrease kya kam, gar pe kya kam hota hai, aata kam hota hai, aata gar pe kam hota hai, aap jada use karne mein aata kam hota hai, aur aap kya karo ye, allu ko, allu ko, you will throw, allu throw in the 
ऑल यू थ्रो इन ट्रैश ओके सर ये क्या बोल दिया आपने यस आई टेल यू बिकॉज यू ऑलवेज कंफ्यूज विदो मेनी एज सो यू कंफ्यूज विथ वॉट गोस आई वॉट गोस इलेवन दैट इज क्वेश्चन आस्ट इफ यू रिमेम प्रीवियस एफ एम जी और नीट पी जी क्वेश्चन यू विल सी इट वेरी केयरफुली दट इज दन फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ट एंड स्टूडेंट्स मेक मिस्टेक्स इन दैट पार्ट ओके ना वॉट आर दोस्त ए सी सी में दे आर बेसिकली वेन यू टॉक अबाउट सी फर्स्ट ऑफ सी इज वेरी सी सी रिएक्टिव प्रोटीन गोस हाई another one is coagulation protein all the coagulation proteins they go high okay and other one is anti uh um, first of all amyloid amyloid protein a for amyloid protein also goes high okay it goes high and other one is your um, anti uh, uh, other one is okay let me come here first let me finish here and come then you will not have confusion okay here आटा में वे से ऑलू ऑलू बिकॉज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थ्रू टी टी फॉर ट्रांसफरिंग टी फॉर ट्रांसफरिंग ओके ट्रांसफरिंग थ्रू ट्रैश ट्रांसफरिंग गोस डाउन आलू मैंने क्यों बोला बिकॉज दिस इज योर एंटी थ्रो का नाम है एंटी थ्रोम्बिन एंटी थ्रोम्बिन एंड अल्बुमिन अल्बुमिन ओके अल्बुमिन अल्बु Mean okay, albumin, antithrombin, albumin. Here, uh, here it is the oh, sorry, anti. I am missing something. Okay, I you guys have to help me. Okay, whatever. Remember, every A and C goes high except this three. Okay, transferrin, ata ka A for I told you T for transferrin, A for antithrombin. Al ana one is albumin, albumin. Okay, albumin. That's what I told you. Allo albumin, thro thrombin, antithrombin again thrombin. Okay. Transferring, trash transferring. So only these three are going down. Rest, all other things are going high. Okay, that's remember like that. Okay, even I forgot one, one, one more. I, I'm sure there's one more A is there. I'm not sure what it is. It is the um, antiferritin or something. Okay, antiferritin or something. I don't want to. Um, uh, yeah. Even if there's a ferritin, it's fine. Okay, because all the things are going high there. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So now these are the things. Everything goes high here. Only three things go. Ata gar pe kam hota hai. Ata ke saath kya karega? Allu ka trash me. You 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 allu is thrown into trash. Allu alpha albumin. Uh, throw throw for transferrin and uh, so throw thrombin and trash transferrin. That's it. These three goes down. Rest all goes high. Even if this antiferritin whatever, uh, all goes high. That's okay. That's what I can give you the clue. Okay. Uh, okay. Fine. Okay. Uh, so now C reactive protein. Now our favorite topic. So this is question, question, question. Frequently asked. So please be careful here. Okay. Mm. Yes. Now next one. C reactive protein. In C reactive protein, C reactive protein. See normally C reactive protein. What is the value? It should be less. That is also question. One minute. One minute. I'm just going to change the color. I have to change the color. Yeah. Less. Normally the value should be less than zero point two. Uh, you know, my picogram or microgram per deal, microgram per deal. Okay, normally, normally should be less than this. But CRP protein, what happen when it goes above uh, half life of CRP is eighteen hours. Okay, eighteen hours. That's not that important to remember. It's a T half life. Uh, I'm just only saying. Okay, and every time in your test report you can see patient the doctor CRP CRP karo. Why? CRP karne me suppose if the range is one to ten, what are the things you should suspect? And if it is more than ten. Microgram water things you have to suspect. That's a question. That's a question. A clinical question also. So what are things you're going to suspect now? Can you tell me? So what are things you have to suspect here is when it's one to ten, it could be MI or it could be uh, pancreatitis. That's it. Okay. It could be an MI patient or it could be a, a pancreatitis patient. That's it. Any of these two. If it is more than ten, you'll think about infection. You think about infection, infection, or sometimes a trauma. You know, severe trauma also it can go very high. Okay, so these are the things you will remember. So when infection means it should be more than ten because we are in microbiology. So infection means more than ten, and rest all whatever. Okay, it should be this much. Yeah, my pancreas is one to ten. More than ten infection, trauma. That's this you remember. Now, what is another important question? C reactive protein is derived from which bacteria? It's not derived actually. Why the name C reactive protein comes means this is very similar to which one? It is the the, the C reactive protein is derived, or it has a cross reaction with which bacteria? The C protein, you say, no C reactive protein. It is uh, it it has a reaction cross section with which one? Streptococcus pneumoniae. That was a question frequently asked. Streptococcus 
pneumonia. Streptococcus pneumoniae. Okay, Streptococcus pneumoniae. Uh, otherwise, pneumococcus. This question was also asked many, many times. I still remember many, many times. So please remember, okay? C-reactive protein. C-reactive protein. Streptococcus, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, Streptococcus pneumonia, especially pneumococcus ka capsule. They are similar. They have cross-section with the capsule of this one. That's what it is uh, called. It is derived. The name is derived from this only, okay? That's it. This is the important point you should remember. Not Streptococcus pyogens or agalatia. It is pneumonia, 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 pneumonia caucus. Okay, that's what. This one you remember, okay? This is about the acute phase reactive protein. I know, very easy. Okay, you'll never make mistake. Very easily you can score from here, okay? Yes, now, active and passive. Active and passive immunity is very, very easy. I know that you you, you guys must be studying this since your school days. Uh, still, I'll tell you, active and what is passive? Active and passive. Activity passive. Active immunity is usually when the antibodies formed inside our body, right? When the antibodies form, excuse me. Active means, I'm sorry, I have to just push this one. So now, when you talk about the, I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, active is when the uh, immunoglobulin or antibody, the same, no, are produced in our body. In our body itself, okay, it should be produced in our body. Here, passive means it's usually what happened? Antibodies given from outside. Antibodies given, artificial antibody or any antibody, immunoglobulin is given from outside. Not produced in a body from outside. So what happened? Active immunity, we have two things. We have active immunity, we have two, with the types are basically active may we, uh, uh, active may we have either natural or artificial. Natural, artificial, natural, artificial. Here also natural, artificial. Natural, artificial, artificial. Okay, natural, artificial. So natural, you know, natural is when usually it happens after, after any infection. Natural immunity, you get any infection and after infection, you get lifelong immunity. It could be anything. It could be herpes, chicken pox, measles, whatever. Any infection, lifelong immunity. Artificial means we give the vaccine. We give the vaccine and the vaccine will induce antibody in the body. Like a live vaccine, example, BCG, MMR, these things you know, you're giving and then they induce not only any vaccine, you can say they are artificial. Okay. So natural or vaccine, artificial. Yeah, it's an active immunity. Our body produces antibody. And here, natural means mother to child. When you talk about Passive, when mother to child, you remember, right, which immunoglobin goes, IgG goes, okay, that is a type of, uh, IgG is not produced, it's from mother to bachik jata, naturally it's going, so it's a passive only, but it's natural, mother to child, okay, yes, this is good, but for which is the first antibody formed in the child, when a baby properly produces antibodies, which one, IgM, that is, I didn't tell in immunoglobin M, I forgot to tell that, the first immunoglobin which is produced in the child is IgM, okay, it's a, but it usually gets the, initially it gets the immunoglobin from mother only through placenta crossing. But after slowly, so when after birth, you know, slowly when the months are going up, then the baby's first immunoglobin is IgM. Okay, after six months. Artificial, what you do? Artificial means you give the you know, uh, immunoglobin itself. You give artificial, that is like example, what? Anti, uh, anti seras. Lot of anti seras is there. Eh? Example for rabies, you know, for rabies, uh, for diphtheria. The rabies, diphtheria, tetanus, many diseases, we are giving this thing. Okay, so those are uh, immunoglobulins. So these are uh, artificial. Okay, so natural, not much true. Only thing is with the active immunity is here, it takes time. It, uh, you know, it uh, delayed, uh, it, uh, it, it longer, wait, it is a, I would say, slow response, but long response, but long period. It stays long period. Here, Quick response, short-lived. It is only for a short period. It remains only for the short period. That's it. This is the difference between active and passive immunity. Not much here. Okay. Right. Now, next. Primary versus secondary immune response is very, 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 very important. Primary, secondary. This one, if you remember, uh, if you remember, the in, we have innate immunity, acquired immunity. In acquired immunity, in acquired immunity, okay, acquired immunity, what happened? We have this response. In acquired immunity, what we have a primary response when the antigen enters into our body, we have two responses. We have primary response and then we have first time and then secondary response. Very, very important. Both are important. Please be careful here. Primary response will be there, first exposure, and then slowly you will have, but then when you have a secondary response, 
when repeated exposure may okay secondary response other name is anamnestic this was a question anamnestic response anamnestic response okay so please remember carefully every point is important here in primary response first exposure when you have a first exposure okay first exposure this is the first exposure is the primary here it is the second or consecutive exposure consecutive exposure to first exposure to any antigen here consecutive exposure to the antigen ah, okay any antigen okay we get this so what happened which immunoglobin will be in primary response igm always acute means always igm 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 we are talking about it now it's a question so here it is usually here which one here it is igg here we're talking about igg if you see when a second see here it is igm IgM is going high, the red color one, IgM uh, is going high, yeah, right? Then when the secondary response happens, automatically it is replaced by IgG goes high. Okay, that's what. So here the response are very specific response. Here it becomes very less specific because IgG is there, means it will become very less specific. Okay, that's one thing. More than that important point here is, here the responses are short, Short, uh, they, they are uh, short and sluggish. Here, consecutive response may you are already the memory is created, so it will be very what fast, very fast response and long response. Secondary response, a fast and long response. Okay, anamnestic, another name. Okay, anamnestic is another name for this thing. Don't you think? And this one more very, very important, frequently asked question is the here there will be a negative phase in where not in the primary. Primary may know in, in secondary in anamnestic response means you have a negative phase. Before rising, there's a short negative phase. That is also question. Negative phase will come in the secondary response or anamnestic response. That question was asked. Here it's not marked. Here what happened? A small uh when this in this graph, it will I see this IgG just it goes flat, flat, flat. Before rising, it goes toward us, it goes down, it goes down. And then it rises. That, that is called negative phase. So Anam is negative. If you forget also, Anam is secondary girl and she is negative girl. Anam is a negative girl. Anam is a secondary response and Anam is a negative girl. Okay. Remember like that. That, that way you will not forget it. Okay. So that's it. So primary response, secondary response means this is the one. IgM is primary, IgG. Here it is always slow, sluggish. Here it's fast and long and it remains longer. And here there's a negative phase. Here there's no negative phase. This negative phase, anamnestic response, all are same, same. Okay. So this is a question. Very easy. Okay. So see, you're not going to make any mistake. At least IgM, IgG, negative phase is only for anam, secondary, secondary, secondary. Negative people are secondary. Okay. Remember like that. Negative people are secondary. Or we also call this lag. It's also called as lag phase. Negative phase or lag phase, the lag period, all are same. Like, like a bacterial growth phase, we have no bacteria. We have a lag, log, stationary, and decline phase. Yeah, we studied in general, but the same way here for uh, acquired immunity also, the response also, we have primary response, secondary response. Okay, so this is the graph we are putting here. So very easy. You have a question from here. Herd immunity. Herd immunity, not much. It's more PSM topic, but still, I'm just going to brief it up. That's it. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. So herd immunity is a immunity in a community, immunity from a community, right? It's any immunity from a community. So what happened? It's usually based on the both clinical and subclinical cases, subclinical cases, okay? Subclinical cases. So that means subclinical cases produce immunoglobin so that that way, you know, the half of the population gets immune, especially we, are, we were talking this herd immunity, we're talking in polio, diphtheria, uh, measles, smallpox, et cetera. We got herd immunity, okay? And good vaccination. If your vaccination program is very good, that's it. Okay. So that is a community acquired immunity. Uh, it depends on clinical subclinical cases and the vaccination. And the example of this herd immunity is we have like for polio, we have for diphtheria, we have it for uh, 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 measles. Okay. Polio, diphtheria, measles, many, many diseases, not just one or two. You can see so many diseases. Smallpox also. Smallpox. So these are few things where herd immunity is developed. Good. Okay. That's it. Adoptive immunity is very simple. Adoptive means, you know, it's basically what happened. It's a, it's basically T cell transfusion to, you give a T cell transfusion to, uh, 
any uh, uh, immunosuppressant patient or leukemia patient, okay, to the leukemia or any immunosuppressant patient. So that one, that immune, this T cell, which is also called a transfer factor. Transfer factor. That forms what? Adoptive, not adaptive. It's O, adoptive, adopter. So the T cell from one patient is transferred to the another patient. That is the uh, adoptive immunity. So you get a T cell within you and you get immunity. That's it. Okay. Right. It's very simple. Now, our most important, our favorite topic is your hypersensitivity reaction. Yeah. Nobody can miss this topic and go to the exam. It's not at all possible. You have to know hypersensitivity reaction. So let's try the type. The type is shortcut, you know. Uh, that is type 1, uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, is shortcut is A, C, I, D, acid. We call it as acid, right? Acid. And then, first of all, uh, how? Uh, what is the time? What is the time it each immunity? Or how? What is the time it takes? Then, mediated by. It is mediated by what? Okay, that's important. Mediated by what? That, that's the most, most important here. Okay, now uh, first one, what are the names of individual? That is very important. A for, you know what, anaphylactic. Anaphylactic, anaphylactic hypersensitivity reaction. Anaphylaxis or allergy, anything you can say. Anaphylactic hypersensitivity reaction or immediate hypersensitivity reaction, allergic hypersensitivity reaction, anything. Okay, allergic. Okay, A. C for cytotoxic. Cytotoxicity mediated. Hypersensitivity reaction. I for immune complex. Immune complex. Okay. And D for delayed. This is a totally delayed one. Delayed hypersensitivity reaction. Okay. These are the names. Now the times. Times. So it is immediate. So it means few minutes to hours. Okay. It is just from minutes to hours okay here these things this is uh this is like hours to days a few hours few hours to days this is also hours actually i would go with hours only you know days also it's too much you can say hours hours few hours few hours delayed it will come in days days to months if you forget also d for d d for delayed days to months that's what we call as delayed hypersensitivity. Okay. These two are hours. Cytotoxic, it will come in hours. The reaction will happen after. Here, less than hours, but usually it's minutes. It usually comes in the minute. Anaphylactic comes in the minutes. Okay. Now, mediated by. Or how you say. So, anaphylactic reactions are usually, you know, uh, it's usually mediated by which one? IgE. IgE. This question was asked many times. Allergy means E will come. E, E, E. That's a question. Okay, question. Cytotoxic. Also, most common by Ig, G. G is important. I told God can do everything. God can do any hypersensitivity reaction. So, G will be the most common one. And also, we have complement mediated also. It can be complement mediated, but G is the main one here. But G directly acts. But immune complex, IgG, but it forms what? After forming an immune complex. After forming immune complex, only it acts. Okay, immune complex, not directly. Immune complex, okay. So, IgG forming immune complex. So, this is also... Uh, also complement mediator. This also is a complement mediator. Important. And delayed is, you know, it's a cell mediator. Cell mediated with T cell mediator. Cell mediated, not immunoglobulin mediated. This is delayed is totally allergic. So it is T cell mediator. T cell mediator. That's it. This is the thing you have to remember. Very simple. Okay. So acid and then uh, first reaction is always minute to hours. It's mediated by IgE, IgE mast cell, all those things. And cytotoxic is for hours, IgG and complex. And immune complex for hours, IgG immune complex. Our complement mediator, complement mediator also right. Okay, both are right. Okay. Huh? And then last one is delayed. So delayed means it's not B. These are all immunoglobulin, no? So they all B cell mediator. This is uh, T cell, delayed hypersensitive reaction. That's it. Okay, so this is for the types of hypersensitive reaction. Now individual. And the hypersensitive, this is interesting. Why did I put this guy here? The hypersensitive reaction one. And I put it this guy here. Uh, is there any reason? Yes. I will tell this guy's name is called Smith. Smith can, you know what he can do? He can, uh, 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 Smith can press, you know, India's favorite wine, right? Shula. Shula wine, okay? And he got allergy. 
and he got allergy. Remember this guy? He got allergy. Okay, allergy because type 1 is allergy. And wine ko chodza, nothing to do with wine. But Smith can press shola. I'll tell you the clue. Okay, before going to that, uh, you know, what are, what are the important things here? So whenever you talk about hypnotic reaction, the things which should come in your mind is, you know, uh, when you, any antigen uh, enters into a body, you know, it goes and activates the TL cell, etc. And then uh, antibody, antibody, which we are talking about, IgE. We are always talking about IgE. Don't forget. And then after that, what happened? Where it attached to mast cells. Mast cells. Okay, mast cell. It attached to the mast cell. And the mast cell release which one? And, and that is the first attack made for memory. And then repeated attack made the mast cell releases which mediator? It releases the histamine. 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 And in any allergic reaction, of course, you expect which one? Your eosinophil also to go high. Eosinophil. So please remember, these are the terms you have to remember in the type 1. Type, everything is a question. IgE, IgE is produced from B cells. Okay, it's produced from B cell. And a mast cell, any allergen enter into the body, you can have IgE and the mast cell activation, side histamine release, mast cell, eosinophil. These four terms you should know by heart. There is no other way you can do it. Allergy means itself, as we told, E allergy. Allergy, any allergy means itself, E will come. E, eosinophil, E, 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 E. Okay, and histamine mast cell, you remember. There is no way that you will forget it. Okay. Now, most important thing is what? Examples. The examiner's favorite is always asking about the examples. So, what are the diseases are important here? First of all, which are the diseases, allergic diseases you should know? First of all, the allergy diseases. What are allergic diseases? Example here, which are the allergic diseases? First, we have two allergic diseases you should know. And then there are some tests. There's a test you should know, right? Allergy and then a test. And then uh, some Parasite infections with type 1 you should know. And then there are some experimental reactions also. Experiment, experimental reactions, examples. Okay. Everything is important. That's what I have made this. So type 1 being allergy. Type 1, there is no group. You say naturally you should know only. What are the allergic diseases you know? <coughs> Excuse. Yeah. Bronchial asthma. Asthma is allergy. Atopic rhinitis. Allergy. Atopic rhinitis yeah allergy and then uh, your uh, dermatitis allergic dermatitis not contact dermatitis allergic dermatitis a for a right contact dermatitis is delayed one dermatitis anything allergy bronchial asthma atp allergies allergic dermatitis anaphylaxis any anaphylaxis reaction to any drugs okay drug allergy any drug to penicillin drug allergy. Recently, a question came. A drug patient took the penicillin and he got allergy, which type of hypersensitive reaction. Those things all are comes under uh, example of the type 1 question. Test me, there's only one test, even if you further many tests, leprimine, tuberculin, etc. But they all come under type 4. Type 1 may only one test. That's what shortcut I told. Can ka ka Kesoni test. Kesoni's test. Kesoni me kya hai? Hydrated fluid, na? hydrated cyst. Echinococcus, so highlighted cyst may you do this test. This allergic fluid inside the cyst. Oh, uh, fluid bar when you're trying to do this test, you will get allergic reaction on the skin. That's what I have stressed it. Kesonis test. Important question. Frequently asked. Repeated test is Kesonis test. Parasite, all parasites, but especially we're talking about what? Helminths. We're talking about the helminths. Okay, parasite, but we are talking about the any parasite, but helminths. So type 1 hypersensitive. You can expect a type 1 hypersensitive reaction. Experimental may only. That's what I gave this one. Smith press shula. Smith ka naam hai Theobald Smith. Theobald Smith phenomena. Theobald Smith phenomena is a type of experiment to check the allergic reaction phenomena with the drugs and everything you do. Theobald one. Press ka naam hai Prosnitz Kushner. Prosnitz Kushner. Kushner phenomena or reaction, whatever. And one more shula ka. Shulaka? Schultz Dale. Schultz. Schultz. S H U L T S. Schultz Dale phenomena. Schultz Dale phenomena. Shula. Agya. Shula Schultz Dale. Praska press. Press karta hai press. And Smith. Smith ka Theobald Smith. So these are the things very, very important. So these are the type 1 hypothesis reaction. These are the questions. Nothing will come out of this. I guarantee you, these are the things will come. So please remember, you will never forget it. Okay. So uh, Smith, the only thing will be difficult is these three. The questions will come. These things. Allergy, allergy will not forget for sure. But the only thing will confuse with the, which test it is and then the experiment reaction. So that's what I always remember. Smith can press Shula one. Smith can press 
शुला वाइन वेरी सिंपल एंड गेट एलर्जी वाइन किसी को आता नहीं है ना गेट एलर्जी ओके दैट्स ऑफ ड्रग और अल्कोहल एलर्जी वॉट एनी एलर्जी एनी एलर्जी टू फूड एनी टू ड्रग एक्सेट्रा विल कम टाइप वन एपिस एनी वर्ड एलर्जी कम्स टाइप वन ओके राइट नाउ टाइप टू टाइप टू uh see type 2 it's again i told you well, the one important thing is that it is a cytotoxic cytotoxic hypersensitivity reaction cytotoxic means what cell you know the cell cyto means a cell get destroyed the cell get destroyed okay cell get destroyed and here we i told so it means uh, cytos also are called antibody mediated also we call antibody mediated antibody mediated directly ig especially we talk about igg mediated so this can be two types we call it as antibody antibody mediated cytotoxicity the most common one and other one is we have antibody mediated cell dysfunction cell dysfunction this first one is the uh, antibody this is a antibody dysfunction okay acd is actually it's acd this is a C, uh, 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 toxicity, ACT, antibody meter toxicity. Okay, that's just the shortcuts, but doesn't matter. When you talk about antibody meter cell dysfunction, few examples are important. Okay, when you mean just the dysfunction. So what are the dysfunctions? There'll be three Gs will come here. What are they? They are G, 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 Graves, Myasthenia gravis, A, B, G, A, and other one is a good pasture. Good pressure. Please remember this one. That's it. Okay. The rest, all other diseases are cytotoxicity, antibody mediated cytotoxicity, most common. But only few things are due to antibody mediated cell dysfunction. They are three Gs: Graves, Myasthenia gravis, Good pressure. That's it. This is only one to remember. Okay. Otherwise, now let's go to the shortcut. The shortcut, well, just to you know, my blood group is orange positive. Everybody knows this. I'm sure it's in your finger. My, I'm just only revising it here. My blood group is. Rh positive. Okay, this is the clue. Hmm. Okay, now what are the diseases we are going to put here? So let's start from the first one. Let me go with this color. Ah, uh, my for myasthenia gravis. Myasthenia gravis. Okay. For type 2 hypersensitivity reaction, the shortcut you're going to remember is my blood group is orange positive. M for mycin gravis, B for blood, blood, blood only, blood transfusion. When you talk about blood transfusion, we will also talk about what? Your uh, RH incompatibility also. That also comes into blood. Anything related with the blood, you know, anything related with the blood cells. We're talking about the uh, cytotoxic means itself, what? Blood cells. Any blood cell related, any blood cell related. So this is uh, blood transfusion, all simply everything is related with what? Your RBCs. You know, it's related with your RBCs. We talk G. G may there are two. One is Graves. Good pasture. And Graft may there's a graft rejection. Which graft rejection? We're talking about the hyper acute. Many times asked. Hyper acute graft rejection. Hyper acute graft rejection. Okay, hyper acute graft rejection. You got it? So three G's will come here. Graves, good pasture, graft. Graft rejection, especially hyper acute, only hyper acute. We'll talk again. Graft rejection, but now you remember. I for immune mediator. Thrombocytopenic purpura. Thrombocytopenic purpura. Okay. Thrombocytopenic means it's a platelet. Again, so it's a blood cell. So platelet. See, you don't need to worry at all. Everything, there's a clue there. Okay. Right? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm stressing here. And uh, yeah. So uh, RH incompatibility ho gaya? All platelet ka. Okay, all question, 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 question. You can see repeatedly asked questions. These are. RH ka, one is your RH ka, RH rheumatic fever, not arthritis. Rheumatic fever is type 2. Then another important thing is what? Your uh, hemolytic anemia. Again, RBC, RBC, you know, hemolytic anemia. So if you even if you forget this clue, anything related with the blood cell will come in this. Okay, so again, RBC. Okay, and the last one, again, one more anemia. P for pernicious anemia. Pernicious anemia and one more p pempigus vulgaris pempigus a very little bit less as more derma but you know 
these days anything can come. So two P's will come. So pernicious anemia and pemptigus vulgaris. There's not other, not pan and not that uh, the disease which you're going to talk now in a while. And then next it will come. Okay. So pernicious anemia, pemptigus vulgaris. That's it. Okay. Got it. So here expected questions of mycin gravis repeated. RH incompatibility repeated. Uh, Graves repeated. Good pasture. Uh, this one hyperacute repeated. This also thrombosin repeated. Anything hemolytic anemia also repeated questions you can check from your previous year. So this should be in your mind. My blood group is RH positive for two. That's it. Okay. They are antibody mediator, Ig, G, don't forget repeatedly ask. There is no immune complex, just Ig, anti IgD, directly go and attack the cell and you get all the diseases. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Next one. HF3. Now, hypersin reaction 3. 3. Okay. Why did I make this picture? Why did, sir, a picture QI? So, look at this student. Sharp, eh, na? Ito sharp, Lord Shiva's uh, instrument, right? So this is sharp. So the shortcut for this is what? Lord Shiva is eh, having a sharp instrument. Three, you eh, know, this is looking like a three, three, you eh, know, trident. Huh? So S H A R P, sharp. You see, a lot of mnemonics. I know so many subjects. That's what I make things even more picturizing so that you'll never forget even the shortcut. Okay. So you'll never forget. Three means. You have to remember Lord Shiva and then three will come. Threshold. Okay. So sharp mind. So Lord Shiva has sharp mind. However you want, you can remember. Okay. It's up to you. But this is what I remember and I never forget it. Okay. So other name is what? Immune complex. Immune complex mediated hypersensitive reaction. That's very, the word is important because here what happened? Immunoglobulin G with antigen, they form a complex. And then only they will act. Then only they will cause the reaction. Okay. Not directly like in uh, hypersensitivity 2, it was just only immunoglobin mediated. Just IgG directly acting. Here G with antigen, this antibody and antigen complex. And then they form the immune complex. Antigen antibody complex or immune complex. So what are the shortcuts we have here? So here it's very easy. Uh, you can remember very, very easily. Uh, I know that. Uh, sorry, let me change the color. Hmm. Yes, for SLE. SLE, uh, systemic lupus. If we forgot also, you have one, two, three. You know? So you can remember like that also. Sharp. Okay. Immune complex mediator. And we have H4. We have hypersensitivity pneumonitis. Hypersensitivity. See, this is very tricky. Hypersensitivity looks more like an allergic one, but it's not allergic. Okay. This is hypersensitivity pneumonitis. Okay. You have to remember like that one. Hypersensitivity pneumonitis. Okay. Now, what about, and one more thing, there are two S actually. One more is just serum sickness. Don't forget serum sickness. This is a type of uh, experimental reaction, systemic, called systemic hypersensitivity reaction also, serum sickness. A for Arthur's phenomena. Arthur's phenomena. Both are type serum sickness. I'll come there before that. Just I'll finish this one. R, we have R, we have one more. What do you have? Rheumatoid arthritis. See, rheumatic fever is two. The rheumatoid arthritis is immune complex. Also reactive arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis, reactive arthritis. These things all are coming here only arthritis. Okay. And P4, you have what? Pan. Polyarthritis, nodosa. Okay. And also post streptococcal glomerulonephritis. Rheumatic fever will come in direct, uh, but post streptococcal glomerulonephritis will come here. Okay, it is in the thing. So 2P will come. Okay, 2P, 2R. And mind M for mycobacterium leprae. Mycobacterium. Mycobacterium leprae. Your previous uh, FMG, this question was asked. Mycobacterium leprae. But which one? Le that lepra reaction. We talk about lepra reaction. Which reaction? Type. Type. What? Is it? Type 2. Lepra reaction. Type 2. Okay, I mean to say three, the shortcut is three plus two is equal to five. Okay, so lepra reaction, this lepra reaction, three is the hypersensitivity. Same way, if you see, remember hypersensitivity reaction type four, type four plus lepra reaction one also is equal to five. That means I want to say for lepra reaction one, it is type four hypersensitivity. For lepra reaction two, it is type three. This question was asked and it was very simple. Many made mistake in that. So don't forget. It's just simple value. Three plus two is five. Four plus one is also five. That's it. Okay. Like MHC. MHC one into eight is equal to eight. MHC two into four is also equal to eight. That one or this one, definite question. MHC ka that number question or hypersensitivity reaction ka lepra reaction one or two is a definite question. Always expected. Okay. So don't make mistake in that. Okay, so this is the shortcut. I, I can I can assure you anything can come from here. Definite questions are here. 
So you already seeing question in front of your eyes only. Okay. So here one more thing is serum sickness is systemic. It's a systemic reaction where your orthos is local. Orthos is a local larka hai, local banda hai. It's a local reaction. Okay. That's just for a thing. This is basically both are taking for allergy. When the drug compounds, you know, when it is small, it goes all over the body systemic. But when the compound becomes big, it just remains in the uh, site of injection and because local reaction. That's it. That's the thing. So you remember only this name. SLE, SLE, hypersensitivity, RH, whatever. The sharp mind. Sharp mind. That's it. Okay. For hypersensitivity reaction 3. Very simple. Okay. Do not forget. Type 4. Type 4, as we told, here what happened? Here also somewhat uh, we have different phases, you know, like uh, sensitization, phase, effector phase, whatever, whatever we have. But then the, the idea is just to remember that here T helper, uh, when the T helper cells activated, you know, those are uh, the, the, the memories created. And then when re the, the response will be delayed. The idea is T cell, but the, there'll be delayed response. Delayed response. That's what we call it as delayed hypersensitivity reaction delayed hypersensitivity reaction which is t-cell mediated okay t-cell mediated delayed hypersensitivity reaction important is the examples all the examples are important here so delayed means it takes days the reaction will take days so what are the diseases we have to remember here first of all contact dermatitis not allergic contact dermatitis okay contact dermatitis number one and there are non-infectious diseases non-infectious diseases you should remember and then there is a infectious disease. And there are different type of tests we have, different type of tests where you can see positive. And one more thing is your in your graft reactions. These things are golden, golden. It's like definitely expected. So make it easy and just remember only you will not forget anything. I assure you. Contact dermatitis due to IV. Nickel, SA quick lumbar contact, those things are so contact dermatitis. Who says example of this, this detergent detergent for years and years they having you no know, that contact ka usually called IV nickel. These things are contact dermatitis. This question was also asked many times. Non-infectious if you talk, non-infectious, which are the disease you can say? The disease which are left out now. You can talk about diabetes mellitus. Diabetes mellitus. Okay. Diabetes mellitus. I'm sorry. Ah, diabetes mellitus and multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis. Okay, these things comes under the non-infectious. Okay, uh, even Hashimoto. Hashimoto, it's autoimmune, Hashimoto. So these is the diabetes mellitus, multiple sclerosis, Hashimoto, these things are coming in the non-infectious non disease. Okay, infectious disease, anything with, you know, chronic, no? So there should be something like granuloma, granuloma like that, right? There should be something like granulomas, like that big, big, uh, you know, chronic infection. So you can put your TB here. You can put uh, leprosy here. Mycotium leprae or leprosy, your histoplasma, histoplasma, you can come put here, you can put your candida, crypto, candida, cryptococcus, uh, all these chronic diseases which causes, you know, big, big granulomas, lumps, like even sarcoidosis also, everything, sarcoidosis is not infectious exactly, but still, okay, so these are TB, leprosy, histoplasma, pneumocystis, all these things will come and they, they ask very less on this topic, so don't worry, but still, you know, just for them sake. The most important thing here they ask is very, very important. It's a different type of test. What are the tests? Lepromine <coughs> for leprosy and tuberculin for TB and freeze test. Freeze test. Freeze test. And one more test is there. What? It is a Montenegro. Montenegro. Okay. Sir, ye kaha arai? these tests are done for which, which organism? Okay. I'm going to tell you that one. So free test, it's all for lymphogranuloma venerum. It's caused by chlamydia. One of the chlamydia, chlamydia L1, L2, L3 species, remember, it's caused by that. So for that, we are doing. Montenegro for you, you know that. For Kalazar, that is for your uh, Lishmaniasis. Lishmania. So FPV forgot was F4, 4, if you remember. This many times people got confused. But at least don't correct. Cassoni will not come here. Cassoni is allergy, first, first type 1. But this one, lepromine, tuberculin, free Montenegro will be... In the type 4 only. The, the response is delayed. It takes days for the reaction to occur. If you remember tuberculin, we are reading after two days. Okay. And uh, lepromin also takes weeks. Okay. For the reaction to occur. Fry and Montenegro also. Okay. In graft reaction. Now in a graft rejection, graft reaction, graft rejection, almost everything will come here only. What is which graft reaction? Example, chronic graft rejection. See, uh, the... We talked about hyper acute. We talked in type 
two. Hyperacute, we talked in type two, hyperacute graft rejection, right? Acute also type two, but uh, acute I'm not added there because many book is written is type four. It can come in type four also. So, so usually they don't ask, but if they ask also, acute is there either two or two, four, both are four, right? But exactly type four means chronic graft rejection and graft versus host rejection. Graft versus host rejection. A don't know. Chronic graft rejection and graft versus host reaction or type four. Repeatedly asked question. We are going to talk that also. I'm going to talk in a while. But remember that in application four reaction, this is important. Okay. Chronic graft rejection, graft versus host rejection are very, very important. You will get question from this. Okay. Right. Next. Transplant. We are going to almost nearing to the finishing topics now. Yeah. Almost near. Just uh, I think this one and one more topic is there. That's it. So what is here? So what we have here? So types of graft. No, transplant is important. Transplant may be a different type of grafts. Okay. So this one, first one, by seeing only you say auto is there. So it is auto graft. The first one is auto graft. Second one is allo origin. So allo graft. It's funny. Why allo and allo? What is the link? Yeah, I'll tell you the link. This is, I know some guys are smart. You can remember everything. But this is for some people who really struggle. You know, for them only I made this one. Okay. And then we have the iso. Isograft, or also we called as isograft, something called as syngenic also. Syngenic. Sometimes people, you know, crazy people, they ask this question and you get confused. Why can't say Ayana? So syngenic graft. And the last one is xenograft. 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 Xenograft, right? So autograft, allograft, isograft, xenograft. Okay. Now, how to differentiate this? Yeah. Autograft means auto, auto like the many. This is auto guy, and auto means self. It's company auto, okay? So from the self or own body, own, 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 own auto, own auto, okay? Own auto. So self body. So usually, which graft we're doing skin graft. Usually, the skin graft is mostly auto. Our, I mean, if we suppose we get a burn or got injury on uh, arm or somewhere face, we take the flap from the uh, skin flap from the thigh region. So that is the autograft, okay? Got it? Allograft. Allograft is allo. Allo is allo arjun. You know, this is the allo is popular for everyone. He allo arjun. Allo arjun, you know, allo arjun is like the most, or even allo whatever is the people's most favorite. So this is the most common type of graft. Most common type of graft is allo graft. So usually which allo means you're taking from the other person, other person of same species. Other person, but not twins. Other person, but non-twins. Okay, not twin. Twins nay on a That's it. Okay. So usually most of the grafts, like your kidney, bone, etc., etc., all are all. That's what is most common. Ki uh, kidney and bone graft, bone graft, everything comes under this only. Allo. So that's what is important. Okay, got it. Okay. Iso means same. So here it is from the identical twins. Identical twins. I, I identical twins. Okay, identical twins. Uh from the you're taking from the twin Selena. That's it. Okay. Xeno is usually from the other species. This is usually from the other Xeno, other species, X species. Okay, remember like X means species, X species. Okay, like that. Okay, that's it. This is the one. This they can ask. Okay, identical twins, ISO, syngenic, don't know, same, same here. Don't get confused. ISO is identical, I, I, identical twins, graft from identical twins, xenograft. The most common one is allograft. Always the most popular, kidney, bone, most of them are this only. That's it. This is types of graft. Now, important is a type of graft rejection. Here comes the problem now. Okay, here comes the big problem. Hmm. So we have only two more slides. So very good. We have done very good job. We have finished it also very fast, like good revision for us. Huh. Now, types of graft rejection. First of all, right, let's write the types. And that time, how long it takes. And then the type of hypersensitivity, uh, hypersensitivity reaction. And then uh, the clinical future. The clinically, what are the things you can see? So type first one is what? Hyperacute. Number two is acute. Number three is chronic, chronic graft rejection. And number four is graft versus host reaction. Okay, graft versus host reaction. Okay, acute, chronic, graft versus host reaction. So how to differentiate this cell? Very, very simple. Time for hyperacute is in hours. HH, HH, hours. The graft rejection happen in the hours, okay? Uh, I'm sorry, I should have put this this way. One second, I'll just cross it so it'll not create any confusion. Yeah, okay. So, it takes hours. Acute, acute will take 
days to months. Days to months. Days to month. A chronic also days to month. It takes some days to months. Here some days to month. Here this one varies. Graph plus host direction is usually varies. We can't say. Okay. Hours, days to month, days to month. Okay. Now here, next. Next is uh, the hypercentric reaction. As I told, hyperacute is always type 2. Type 2, type 2, type 2. Hyperacute. Anna, hyperacute. Hyper two words. One and two. Hyperacute. Acute can be two or four. Both are right. Both are right. Okay. But your chronic and this both are hypersensitive reaction. Four. Hypersensitivity reaction. Four. Four, four. Both are four, four. Okay. Now the clinical feature. When you talk about the clinical feature, hyperacute may usually what happens is that in, uh, in whenever you're hyperacute, patient usually have thrombosis. Thrombosis. So what is the treatment? Immediately remove the, immediately remove the graft. Treatment is remove the graft. You have to remove the graft immediately. Thrombosis, severe thrombosis all over the body. Okay. So remove the graft immediately. That's the treatment. Okay. For hyperacute. Hyperacute means thrombosis. In acute, what we have is we have vasculitis. You will have severe vasculitis. So in this case, treatment is you are going to give what? Steroids. Steroids. Okay. Graftian steroids. And chronic may, usually they have what? Fibrosis. When you talk about fibrosis, uh, they can have arteriosclerosis. Arteriosclerosis in the heart. Okay. In heart arteriosclerosis. In lung, they have bronchiolitis obliterans. Bronchiolitis obliterans. And in liver, they can have uh, bile duct vanishing syndrome. In liver and biliary system, bile duct Vanishing syndrome, okay. Vanishing bile duct vanishing syndrome, bile duct vanishing syndrome, okay. And then, uh, and nephropathy also, they can have nephropathy also. Nephropathy, these are the important features. So, of course, this is this is very uh dangerous, and then you know, it be treated immediately according to the this thing. And in the graph, was this is we're talking about this one, we're talking about acute is vasculitis. Hyperacute is thrombosis. Chronic means any chronic, you know, it's a fibrosis. Gratus, in gratus host reaction, the main thing is they'll have a liver is affected. So you have hepatosplenomegaly. Hepato, hepatomegaly is main thing, hepatomegaly. And because of that, patient will have a jointus. Severe jointus. The patient has severe jointus. So this is the main thing you'll see here in this patient. So what happened? Usually this happens in the uh, liver and the uh, bone marrow transplant because those organs have what rich lymphocytes. There'll be more lymphocytes. You know, for them only it happens. So it is very good for leukemia patients. Leukemia with a bone marrow transplant ka. This is very good. Leukemia patient ka. It's a very good one. It's a good option. If we can do. If there's a type of reaction, it's okay. No problem. Okay. That's what graft plus host reaction can happen. So these are the few things of the types of graft reaction. Very, very simple. Okay. So this is question is asked always a type 2 and type this 4, 4. They ask frequently <coughs> and changes. Either thrombosis, hyperacute means always thrombosis. Mein you have to remove the graft. And vasculitis means acute steroids. And chronic is cro any chronic disease, you have fibrosis. So all the fibrosis thing you have to treat accordingly. And uh, graft versus host reaction, we have hepatosplenomegaly. That's it. Okay. Now next, immunoprophylaxis. In immunoprophylaxis, what is important here is, uh, I, I, I'm just, you know, rushing here. I don't want to drag more here. This you guys know already. Yeah. So when you talk about live vaccine, example, live vaccine, live vaccine, you know, the commonest BCG, MMR vaccine, yellow fever, yellow fever vaccine, Japanese encephalitis, especially 14, 14, two vaccine is live. Yeah. And then rota. Don't forget rota, 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 rota virus, rota virus vaccine. It's also very live vaccine. Uh, in chicken pox influenza, it's mixed. We have both live and dead. So I'm not going to stress that here. So kill vaccine, the shortcut for kill vaccine is how you remember is rip always. Rip always. Okay, this is at least shortcut. Uh yeah. Or for rabies, dogs to be killed in a rabies vaccine. I for influenza. Influenza can be live also. This also. I'm still putting. Ah, and one more thing. OPV. Oral polio vaccine is also live. You know, not IPV, but OPV. So uh, influenza P for IPV. Polio, no? Polio, but IPV. Here also polio. 
okay yeah and then uh, a for hepatitis a virus hepatitis b live and dead also but commonly it is uh, dead dead cut at least these three rip always remember kill vaccine ta. and rest all comes into this thing even chicken pox chicken pox all will come into live only chicken pox also these are few commonly asked questions so i'm just stressing that okay toxoid to you know either dt or tt toxoid is a component okay tt tt subunit vaccines only two hpv and hpv HPV and HPV. Okay. Cellular fraction means they're using capsule as a special compound. So that is usually, you know, which are the capsulated? H influenza B, pneumococcus, pneumococcus vaccine, and then meningitis vaccine. That's it. Okay, that's it. Okay, this thing. So these are the immunoprophylaxis vaccine. So uh, we have almost come to the end of the topic. Only the remaining was autoimmunity. Autoimmunity, I didn't stress here because that's more a medicine topic. Uh, the idea is that autoimmunity, usually, you know, it happens because of a cross reactive between the two different antigens, like in rheumatic fever, the C carburetate, uh, similar to the cardiac valve on a CC. M for the M, M protein is similar to the myocardium. So that's what we have rheumatic fever, like that. Okay, cross reactivity or due to sequestered antigen, uh, when breakdown of sequestered antigen, uh, uh, new antigen formation. These are a few reasons automatically and individual antibodies you know. So I'll try if there's any revision class coming in up class, I'll put important antibodies. Okay. Now, thank you so much. So this is the final class of immunology. So we have only two classes, previous to one and this is two. If you know this immunology, you will not make any mistake. Okay. All the best once again. Keep on revising. Great. God bless.